Well then, we are continuing. And where we last time left off was, uh, mm -hmm. well. I'm not one to tell you all what you're supposed to feel. Hmm. Well. <clears throat> Do we, uh, call in a stay in this insane tower or do we track out, track the source? I mean, who knows? It's not like there's a director telling you where to go. Hmm. <laughs> what color is the brick road? It's red. Did you ask that last time? Mm. It's bright, vibrant, yeah, red. All right. Follow the red brick road to the clockwork city. Please don't sue us. <laughs> I mean, the joke was set up to exist like this, so I can't really blame Belmore for this. I mean, sure. Well, who's looking for a heart, a brain? Uh, ooh, yeah, too many. If I guess one of you is looking for a liver or something. Would work, uh. Work a lot better if we didn't have the two extras. <laughs> Padding out the <laughs> three to five. <laughs> Although considering, I imagine BK would be looking for the Fuzila, if anything. No, don't. So if everyone is going to follow the road, and that's what's going to happen, I don't get a say on that. Yeah, certainly. Let's go, adventure. It's like you were in any mortal danger of being attacked by two dragons. Again? <laughs> yeah, two this... times in a row, man. It was proof that we can handle these. Yeah, if you don't wait too long like last time. <laughs> no, we don't want to fight. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, how about how about we all? How about you all introduce yourself so for the audience and to get in the, your character's head a little bit. Belmore, who are you? <clears throat> I am Magos Auxiliaros Artemis five point eight. Yeah, <clears throat> loyal craftsman and a follower of the Omnisia. And Bke, where do you stand? Bke is Gupella, a gu a slime inside a big suit of armor. Boing. Likes friends. Boyong. Grifflin, what are you? I'm uh, Gladstone, a Minotaur barbarian uh, who was a waiter once. You were a waiter once? Waiter. Yeah. A raider. So, yes. <sighs> Cabraid. I am Aurora. I uh, artificially created a giant lizard that spews fire. Exciting. And loves eating. And Mina. I'm just a cat. Okay, no, that's not true, but. Yeah. Mostly just a cat. Yeah. Just a cat. Uh. As you set out on the road, the sun is shining, then it's slightly cloudy. Not if you look at it, the weather doesn't seem all that stable. But it fixes itself. Mm -hmm. You know that the tower is, is going to be a good day's walk away. There seems to be approximately the distance of a day between each location. If you were to get on top of the tower. The place is also flat, so there's no, like, horizon curling that disables you from looking very far. Mm. This is a perfect moment where people can complain about Legolas's capacity to see very far, despite the curvature of a planet. Something people apparently like did research into. Anyway. <laughs> and he's an elf and he's smelly. Sorry. No, 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 no. There was, there was this thing where, um... People calculating, like, actually, Legolas sees so far that the curvature of the Earth would take over and you couldn't see anymore. Which, well, that was assuming yeah, the Earth was like Mars. Are... But the next tower, further down the line, uh, as it stays in your vision because the whole place is flat and it's kind of weird like that. Like, this road is straight and that place is just right there. It's, uh, it's got a weird feeling to, to just how unnaturally straight it is. So you leave your, your your tower behind you. The new tower is um, it looks a bit like a four-pointed crown, 
it's, it's a large like cone shape, but then you take off the top and you have four points instead of one. Or I guess you could call it like four cones pushed together. Hmm. It's a it's a neat looking tower as as ever you see merchants just lining up in front of you and lining up behind you. All of them just moving on and on. I kinda wonder where these people stay since no one seems to be setting up camp at any point. So, as you arrive at the fourth tower, you see uh, quite the spectacle happening. A large, coiling serpent has basically curled around the tower, and several heroic-looking fellows are, are, are trying to beat it into submission. <laughs> Considering that this thing is spewing large beams of electricity, like a laser cannon, <laughs> you, might, you might want to wait this one out. Hmm. Do the heroes look like they... Uh... Uh, as as disparate group as a bee off. Um, you take a minute to, to to kind of try to see who's actually there. Um, you, you think there's a robot in there? There's like a robot running around. You can't quite see because he's wearing a lot of robes. There's a there's a lizard person running up and down the the scaly thing, delivering punches and blows. There's a another 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 lizard, but more like a dragon sort of lizard, who, who's who's flinging spells. And then they're on the head, clinging to one of the creature's sparking horns, is uh, clearly a dragonborn, swinging a hammer and presumably shouting things, judging by how much his lips are flapping. Okay. They, they seem to be, to be taking well to their role. Because at ground level, you can easily hear the, the, the sorcerer and the, the robot man like shouting all kinds of, 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 of witty one-liners. Mm. Wait, uh, what color are the robot's robes? Uh, they're they're pretty b plain brown. Okay, good. As long as they're not red. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that just like with your own little spiel, uh, the merchants have formed this sort of circle around the situation, like a crowd watching. Hmm. So the moon is like... the building. There's there's a there's a lady hanging out. She's like, oh no, valiant heroes. So, uh, does the dragon have a light above its head? Uh, it's not a dragon. It's a giant serpent. If you'd have to call it ah. anything, it's got a lot of fur. It's got big, sort of almost like crystal horns that that are very jagged. <laughs> they might not be crystal, but they they, they they could be. They're so jagged and flat. <sighs> If anything, it reminds you more of a of a of the, the, the Chinese, the Asian kind of dragon, the long serpenty mm. kind, with little gray right. hands. Uh, it does have a light above its head, which you can only yep. make out because a cloud is 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 circling above you and starting to unleash bolts of lightning. Hmm. <clears throat> well then. Hmm. Uh, so this. Merchant wagons, are they pulled by horses or something else? They are all pulled by horses. Hmm. We could travel, travel faster if we, if we had a wagon. I mean, not necessarily the merchants seem to be going at a walking pace. Well, and despite the fact that there's this big battle going on, like every one of them pays their dues at the at the Lultul booth. Well, we don't need the merchants. I mean, you're free to, to try what you want. But know that there are valiant heroes nearby. <laughs> we'll probably, like, shout obscenities at you. Or, or maybe not. They, they look like the kind of people who would stay very much in the E-rated territory at all times. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So what you're saying is so it's about old timey insults. Not necessarily. It's 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 it, there's just something off about this. There's something off about the entire world. Yeah. So you're not gonna get mm. very far. If you do decide to push through the crowds, um, 
you may notice that there are other corpses. Like, they've already taken care of some of the situation. You can move on if you want, and ignore this. Yes. Before... <clears throat> Before I take a too good... Too good a look at the, at the robot. Uh, I mean, you're free to try. Shall we press on? Or... Do you want to do something here? Asking the rest of the group. I mean, they kind of have it under control, it looks like. And it's basically the same setup as the last tower. Mm. So where exactly do you stand? Do you stand, like, in the crowd, in the inner circle of the crowd, at the edge? Um... Guess it guess at the edge. I'm, yeah, I'm saying on the edge of the crowd. Yeah. All right. I I have my my servitor to you. <laughs> keep track of stuff. Excellent. So excellent. Just floating slightly above. <clears throat> <laughs> and uh, on that note, do I notice that the curvature of this world seems off somehow? You've noticed this by by now. Uh, you have the sufficiently uh, advanced tools to know such things. Okay, um... Uh, let's see who exactly this. I got bad news for everyone except Griflion, who is standing sufficiently far away from the group. Because the creature starts to, to cry out loudly as one of its horns cracks off and flies your direction. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, geez. Can I get a de dex saving throw, please? Mm. Oh, Ooh. oh boy. Huh. <laughs> I think we all know that Majors went to the uh, Prometheus school of running away from things. <laughs> because, he ran... <laughs> because he decided that running in the same direction would naturally reduce the impact. Mm. If you still basically get slammed into the ground. And smushed. Yeah. Oof. And Mina, being a cat, was just already out of the way by the time it started falling. As you are flattened, <laughs> you see that merchants, almost immediately, began uh, taking the horn and strapping it onto their carts, and then muffling it away under the wares that they have. Hmm. Well, let's see how they make their living. You've seen this before, like with the dragons. They, 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 yeah. they, 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 they seem to be the cleaners around here. Or, you know... Valuable reagents. <laughs> like one person even yeah. broomed up what of, what of the the vampire that remained. <laughs> well, so... Now the attention has fallen onto you, because you know big thing landed near you, and and, and the the merchants are saying, "Look, why are you here?" You're, you're the gods of the third tower, aren't you? We saw you just... Well, just earlier this day, now that I think about it. Hmm? Now, oh, we ought to see the wizard. We're exploring! You can't just leave the, the road in Middleton unguarded. Of course, Cotton. Of course you can. <laughs> we just did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my. Well, I, I hope that works out for, for all of you. This will also Thank cost you. everyone dearly. <laughs> I would like to... I've noticed that the merchants at the previous place, which might be the same ones as here, or pretty much everyone else probably looks off. They've noticed this. Some of them. Can I tell... Not all of them. Yeah. Can I tell whether the heroes are similar with insight? Well... As they take a minute to, to pose next to the large serpent that looks very much dead. The war the the, 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 the Warforged seems to have a camera by the looks of it. Um, <laughs> they look about as fine as anyone else. But you can't really tell through the crowd. Okay, then I guess I'm just going to step through the leg maze given that can't get close. Alright then. As you approach, 
within considerable distance of them. They all suddenly turn to you, as if some sort of sixth sense is triggered in their heads. Meow. <laughs> ah, one of the heroes of the <laughs> towers, I assume. I react the same way whenever I see a cat. <laughs> the dragonborn plops off the, the, the corpse and, and has his warhammer on his shoulder as he steps in close. Although, it's quite a short hero. Not exactly the usual kind. Meow. <laughs> Uh, by the way, if you say anything, as in you say something meaningful, not just making noises, he will understand you. Meow. So you're just saying <laughs> meow. <laughs> no, I, no, I, like, I'm trying to pretend to be an ordinary cat. If it helps, I'm just going to shove the ghost into the ground, if that's possible. <laughs> Probably a good I, uh... one, I guess. So if you're not aware that it knows, knows. And he taps his snout. I uh, wander. I saunter up to the dragonborn and sniff him right in the face. He, do, he, he, he sure smells like someone who just beat up a giant electric eel. <laughs> like slightly singed. Um, well, of course. When someone leaves their post, the nose knows. Here, let me, let me demonstrate. And he tries to throw his arm around you and drag you away from the tower. Me? Yep. Since you're trying to sniff him. Uh. Will you let I'm him? not sure how to handle this. I guess not. Well, right. If you want to make it a post strength check, that's your right. Okay. Bat. Let's see. Um. <laughs> that's I'll terrible roll. <laughs> oh yeah. No, he just beats that by default. <laughs> Very he strong. drags you a good distance from the tower. Uh, not so far that people lose sight of you, but mostly because the merchants have all like congealed, so the road is mostly empty. Um, but as you as he goes just far enough, you don't know how far it exactly is, but he, he starts to smell kind of funny. I look like I am not okay with this. <laughs> it's very, it's, and then he walks back again, and the smell fades away. Hmm. And the the robot walks over to the cat. Of course, a little kitty. So, uh, honestly, Asmodeus of... knows how to pick them. So, what kind of smell is it? it it's very. It's very. It, it it's a smell of wrong. It's it's very personal as to what it exactly smells like, but it's something wrong. Like someone who's used to sniffing out gas leaks, it would smell like that. If if you work in a sewer and it's like the smell of something sweet like a corpse, it's like that. It's whatever you associate with like something being very wrong. Being very bad. <laughs> okay. So I, if I understand that right, we are basically all smelling right now like that because we left our tower. Yes. Okay. Well, at least to them in specific. You don't know if, yeah. if anyone else has this power. Oh, okay. Little kitty, you should not be here. The creatures appear to increase in power the further you get from the bridge. You would get stomp. The robot pats you on the head. And then takes his, his camera and takes a little picture. Click. <laughs> Out comes that. However, it is late. By the time you would be back, it would be nightfall. I would recommend against traveling at nightfall. <clears throat> what do you do? Because you're just, all here. I stare at the robot and try to tell whether it's like one of these weird planar constructs or an actual person that's somehow banned. Um, how would you detect such a thing? I guess I like a sheet called cat. <laughs> uh, roll me some insight. You give him yeah, the old that's, big eye. That's how it worked last time. Uh, he is a person. 
Uh, a bit of a stiff person, but a person. But you can blame his metal parts on the stiff. For the stiffness. Yeah, that's what I suspected, that the heroes from this tower would also be drawn from somewhere like we were, and it's just everyone else that's weird. Wait, 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 wait. The, the sorcerer steps off the, 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 the snake and starts walking up to the cat and p tries to pick you up. So you're well, I don't... <laughs> you're a little kitty. He's yeah. not being like particularly rough or anything. Yeah. He's squishing the cat. Like he does that thing where the cat's four paws like stick out a mile and the rest hangs like a curtain. <laughs> Release me. <laughs> you're, 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 tr you're trying to sell me that um, the, or the Tower of Three already ran out of people. Those guys weren't even there like a week. <laughs> Look, you don't, you don't go dying on me, all right? I mean... There was like particularly exciting, but Leo was nice. And he puts you back. Can we him. ask? <clears throat> I would like to ask them how long they're already here. Um, wait, who asked that? Rosalan. Okay. How long? How long these guys have been here? Yeah. Uh, well, the the the, the half dragon. If you had to guess anything. Uh, it takes a minute, but then the Warforged should have steps in. I have been here the longest. I would My guess. <laughs> calculations. At least 300 cycles. Day night does not appear to have a stable construct. Hmm. Now then. As I have recommended to the cat. It is best if you do not stick around here. As you may see, the things we fight are significantly larger than what you fight. Mm -hmm. And don't pretend that I don't know about the dragons. What <laughs> dragons? Do, uh... do you think I sit atop that tower for no good reason? Oh, I know. I was, just making... I was just making a joke. <laughs> I mean the dragons uh, on the merchant's cart over there. They may try to hide them, but they are quite visible. Yeah. Now, Thank you, the sun is setting, unless you intend to set up camp. We are done here. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be a bad idea to go back. Because... Uh... One gay, uh, that one guy says that so. Wait, what? Would be uh, would take us close to one day to get back to our tower. Yep, you'd have to travel by that if you want to get there as soon as possible. Yeah, exactly, and that seems kind of like a bad idea. Uh, as a quick note, by the way, the roads are not like illuminated, but there are like plenty of torches around the towers and checkpoints to light them up. Yeah, I remember that. Kinda. <clears throat> you can still see Middleton from here. It's like all plains to the south. Though to be fair, you can see just about anything from anywhere. <laughs> People forget how much the curvature of the Earth can do for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I said to do something about the abomination. Abomination? <laughs> You're not going to beat up that Warforged guy. He's just trying his best. <laughs> he just wants some pictures of kitties. Who doesn't? Exactly. <laughs> Well, since you all are just standing around like a bunch of gormless oafs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm standing, I'm they all head inside and, and they close the door behind them because, you know, they're not going to leave the draft open just because you guys are here. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to wonder how is anyone going to set up camp? Man, what do we even have? You can see exactly one hour of walking away from yourself. If there's nothing else bothering up the curvature. 
Yeah, that's awesome. That does. <clears throat> I mean, if you're going to set up camp, I would like to point out that I know you have camping supplies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what he said. Let's be all. I think I have a tent. Yeah. Well, cool. You have a tent. Yeah. It's you could fit a large enough for me. <laughs> Just stuff the cat in there. Kind of rude these people didn't introduce themselves, but whatever. I mean, we didn't eat. We eat uh... <laughs> the feeling's mutual. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, guardians. Foolish. Well, if we're gonna set up camp, I'll just kind of curl up into a sphere of slime and armor. Like a ball of armor with a slime in the middle of it. And just go to sleep. Wasn't there in town in your this tower? <laughs> Or what was here? with the tower? Wasn't there a town near this one as well? No, there was only a town near yours, Middleton, because it's in the middle. Interesting. The weird part is that Middleton is like a day's travel away from the tower instead of being like adjacent to it. Interesting as well. Yes! Now what else can I do for you for? Unless you guys want to kick up the feet and let the night come. Okay, well, if we, we are... don't have much of a choice, do we? If we, are... we could technically go into the tower, probably, but would that help? I, I think the safest thing would be to travel a bit away from the tower, since these creatures seem to be attracted to them. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> And also, this is where we could get help if they found us anyway. Okay. I'm going to actually telepathy dance to the maids. My theory is that these creatures are summoned to attack the towers. Yeah, that seems kind of reasonable. I don't know, I think it's unreasonable, but that's just me. <laughs> I don't know anything. I'm not the dream or anything. <laughs> I think the okay. I think they get some chair, so uh, the guardians kill them, so the freaking traders just take all the resources from the corpses, so the stupid mage can use whatever he needs for his experiments or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, man. Someone who can summon these things. For resources? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, vampires don't walk out into daylight without a good reason. And if you can make them do that, then what do you need the heroes for? Mm. Fun. I'm going to check if the... Yeah, ever... fun! It's entertainment for that stupid bitch. Well, you guys I are could... not going to find out by sitting here and speculating, are you? Well, yeah. Maybe. So kind of? Night is going to come. Night is coming. And we might or might not. Who doesn't sleep? <laughs> I have to sleep. Because I, I, just, I, I just need to know who doesn't sleep around here. I just kind of lock my legs so I gotta stay upright and I start tinkering on a, uh, well, myself, doing some maintenance. Exciting. I think the ghost doesn't technically sleep. Yeah, probably not. The cat is going to look like it does, but... I don't it's know what I said about the slime sleeping or not, but I don't think apparently it does. I'll have my servos, servo, servo skull, uh, watch while I'm working. Exciting. In the middle of the even night. if she doesn't need to sleep, she's just doing it out of social convention. In the middle of the night, as you all received your long rest benefits. Well, I guess the women were like the morning. It's early morning. It is still dark out. You see the big fat moon, which is so big and fat that Artemis curses it. Because it is so big, it should drastically alter local gravity. But it isn't doing that! Yes, that's... Nothing here is right. I, uh, take a look around for a little cobalt pal. A little cobalt pal? Who do you mean? There's no little the cobalt The one that here. we left behind. I think we left him behind. 
Oh, Brendan. Awesome Thanks, tell. <laughs> he's gonna get to talk. I mean, he's gonna get to talk all alone. Yeah. I trust his judgment. <laughs> but as, 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 can I can I get some initiative yeah. from y'all? Since you know, y'all take it. Unless lot. you do anything before sleep, you still need your initiative rolls on this. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm going to give you an initiative roll. Just Gosh, in your uh, every so single basically time. made myself a very defensive turret. Oh, whoops, I said the toys. <laughs> Mechos has a fear. You get Gupel is a tien. Grosden. Okrbrod has a slick 20. Men. <laughs> and Menon mm -hmm. has a toe. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Aurora Sorry, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't quite pick up on this. Until the hands are already on her. Uh oh. Uh, oh wait, now I need to set the turn counter to the right place. Okay, there we go. Uh, Aurora doesn't quite notice anything until the hands are already set upon you. Upon you. Just, oh, great, great. Thanks, thanks for doing that. Stupid thing. But Artemis, the second you hear Aurora stirring because of grabby hands syndrome. Mm. Okay, let me just put these here. I need this one, and I need this one. You notice that there are a lot of things around you. And they're not good things. Why isn't this finding it? What, what the, there, finally. Jeez, it took so long to freaking find this sheet. <laughs> Around you are several stone constructs, by the looks of it, and several metal cobras. Two stone constructs have Ooh. already gla gleefully grabbed onto Aurora. Oh no. Can I get a perception check from Grosdan as these activities take place? Grosdan is beyond being. Uh, like you got, you got some of these. You got, you got some. Oh, I missed all the stuff. Neat. You got some of these boys. You got some of these boys. So I don't know if it is just me, but I can't really see anything on the actual. Third eye discipline. Let me let me take a look. Um... How oh, strange. That's because nothing has been added to your sheet. Your spell list doesn't have anything in it. I mean, not my spell list. I mean the map. Map. Well, there is nothing on the map. Oh, you know what? I'll just throw some things in. Don't worry about it. Oh, because someone is clicking the map, and I guess there's not actually anyone. <laughs> Well, Never there's, there's an aurora on the map. Yeah, a little, little tiny aurora. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that is. Yeah. Really oh, brings really, the that's ring. wrong picture. Excuse me. <laughs> that is a big picture and not a token. This is the picture. Ready. There we go. Now I can go from the Ural. Bada boom. That is way too big. This thing is not that big. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're just getting kidnapped. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good. Okay, I'm just gonna, first and foremost, I should probably do some of this. Background, be a bit lighter, grid enabled, size 1 units, bada boom bada boom. Oh wait, now you can't see the grid because it's the exact same color as the background. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting for, okay, Grazan said BRB and he's already back, I forgot that part. Yeah, no. But these things are all medium, they're all handsomely sized boys. So all set yourselves up. Aurora, don't be an awkward size like this, but sure, whatever. Uh, I'll try to place a proper token. There's a lot of boys. At some point, I'm actually figure out how to place me token. Oh, you just track track your name, basically. Just... Wait, I think I'm missing one of these. There we go. Alright then. So where exactly did you park yourself? Did you park yourself like in a tree line or on the open road? Well, ideally I would, like, if it was up to me, I would have not only suggested we go to the tree line, but also I would have climbed onto a tree. Yeah, just plopping down under a tree sounds like a nice time. Oh. So like, we don't know if it rains here or anything, we want a little bit of shelter. 
<sighs> Excellent. I love it. There's some nice trees. Oh, there we go. My token feels like it should be smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now I can plop down some some trees down by the tree line. Aurora and their shadow clone are here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some reason I can't delete the copy. At least the token works. Isn't this just exciting? Everyone's having a, a, a great old time. It's thrilling. Get a load of those trees. <laughs> Get a load of that tree. It's a lot of underbrush. Thick, thick underbrush. It's neon green, because why not? Because for some reason they decided to put pure colors on the color wheel. Grozdan, I need your perception check, please. Please. Yeah, give me a second. Perception, oh, man, you see. Nice eyeball in green. Ooh. Ah. No, not perception checks. I'm not good at that. Then it's you passive? Make it stay asleep until someone puts the grabby hands on you. I, but I have a good passivism. <laughs> well, yeah, your passive is probably what applies here. Yes, what's your passive? Uh, fourteen. Well, then you'd probably wake up just fine. Now get Perfect. up off your feet. You're still prone and sleepy. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna use half my movement to get up. Mm, yeah, this seems kind of bad. Don't be so pessimistic. So, uh, they seem hostile, I suppose. Well, considering and... that they're kidnapping one of your, your, your fellow yeah. buddies. Well, they could be hugging them. <laughs> no, they're holding them by hands and feet. I, mean, I think okay. I'm just gonna... Uh... Hands. Well, claws and feet, holding I guess. Hands. I didn't know this was that kind of RPG. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna wait and attack one of the defenders. I'm defenders. What are these? Yeah, stone defenders. There we go. Give him heck. So, yeah. Okay, I'm good. And one second, so I can pull my shield over here. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna prop one wage. And just go over here. And attack that one dude. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take my great axe and attack with uh, reckless attack, so it's oh, advantage. Oh heck, oh heck, oh heck. He's going in for the heckin' attack. It's a heck attack. Oh, I'm doing this because my eyes are just literally starting to bleed, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pure colors. Don't use them. Especially not green. It's like the brightest thing you see. Great axe, your first swing. Who do you swing at? I can imagine at this guy, since he's the one yeah. you're closest to. All right. You yeah, give him a swing. Um, you hit him, but uh, considering that this boy is... Um... Uh, let me just do one quick thing so I can remember who he is. Um, there we go. He's boy number one. Noticed I forgot the rage damage, so it's three more. It's three more. It's a tidy ten. Well, that might seem like a lot to you. But I got some bad news. It's not a lot to him. Because for one, he is sturdy enough that your axe only does, does a little baby damage. He got he has resistance against magical attacks. Because that's what constructs tend to do. They tend to be rude about that kind of stuff. Yeah. So you plink off him. It's almost like a sizable chunk of his health, but you would have preferred a lot more. You still can have more I attacks use... to go, don't you? Yeah, can I use uh, Storm Boomerang in MIDI? What? I have a magic boomerang. Can I use that in media? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's still a freaking boomerang you can bonk someone with. Because uh, if I notice that uh, the axe isn't working that it's well, not I'm gonna bridges. try with the boomerang. That was kind of a big one of the main uses of boomerangs, actually, it was as like melee weapons. All right. That's still a, a, a decent hit. Let's see. It's a magic weapon. So you do deal with a full 17 damage. And let's see if it can make that... Can it be stunned? 
it can be stunned. And surprisingly, it doesn't have the world's... Nope, it is stunned. It releases the boy. Yay. Free um, that boy. Free that boy. Stunned. Oh. Alright, he is stunned, and he is reduced to... Well, you got a good chunk out of him. You'd say, okay. like, uh, a third. Almost half. Okay, I'm, but I'm not gonna use my hour because I would hit the rest of our team, so that's fine. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, then I'm done for my turn. I need to turn on the nameplates for these things, because I need to know who is who. This is a beautiful 45, 45, there we go. Hey, tell All which one I am. Of, the Iron Gobra sees that you are being an aggressive boy. Yeah. Rawr. It slithers in with remarkable speed. And takes a, tries to take a bite out of your butt. Uh, you what is your attack, what is so... what advantage, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, what is your My AC is 17. Ooh, that is a just hit. And it had one of those advantage roll, where it's the same thing twice. Let's see. Um, must suffer one random effect against a DC. Give me a DC 13 constitution, please. You also take 7 damage piercing, so it may be reduced by your rage. <coughs> constitution, you said. Yes, I believe that. Um, <laughs> let me a fortitude save. You're fine. He just gives you a big old chompy chomp. So it was 7 damage, or what was it? I didn't well, got the damage before. It dealt 7 damage, which could be half since it's physical. Yeah, and that should be rounded down, if I remember right, so... Three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Just setting up the boy. Boy number 3, this is gonna be boy number 4, and this is gonna be boy number 5, and this is gonna be boy number mm -hmm. 6. So we got oh, wow. all these boys sorted out on my end. Boy number three sees the Magus at his defensive turret mm. and decides that you will need neutralizing prior to being contained. Uh. What's this nifty ability he gets? Oh. I should have known that. <laughs> and he goes in. Oh, he lands a critical on Magus. Uh. I have bad news for you. You were also knocked prone by this. Not enough of a construct to be immune to criticals, oh well. And he deals a sloppy 15. You are caught oh. by this machine. It is physical, if you have any resistances, don't forget. And that's also its turn. Oh. Oh. Resistances. Uh... Defender number four will begin restraining procedures on the slime. However, it has no idea how to handle the slime, so it just sort of uselessly grabs at it. <laughs> like, it, it takes up some of the armor plates, but then it releases it because there's no slime in it anymore. <laughs> Which is to say he misses. All right. <laughs> Stone defender number five. Ah, uh, you know what? He, he's going to help his buddy. So now the next attack against our good friend the goop is going to be with advantage. Which is going to be our delicious Iron Cobra number two. Let me just name them all so that y'all can't complain about me being a dirty little cheat. There. Now they have names and you can see them. You would never do that. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> number two comes rushing in and is going to take advantage of this neat little setup. I have a 24. May that actually hit you? Uh, nope. Jesus, I forgot you have the, you have the AC... You 25, need... baby! Yeah, you need to be hit with the saving throws. <laughs> this is why spellcasters exist. I'm just kind of sitting there as everyone's trying to attack me and completely unaware they're trying. <laughs> Finally, the turn goes to one of the good guys. It's Cat Lord. Yay. Kitty kitty. Yeah. Uh, man. I don't suppose I can wait until delay my turn. You can. I allow delay. If 
and at five he says that it's for babies. So when do you want to delay your turn? Um, let's see. I want to delay my turn until after Gupella takes the move. Well, Gupella is immediately after your turn, so sure. Yeah. So uh, I guess I would need to take some time already to say, hey, clear out. Capella, you get the turn because Cat is taking a moment. What do you do? You're surrounded by metal and it's clanking. There's a lot of dudes. A whole lot of dudes. Yeah. Uh, get out. I don't, think I, I don't think I have any AoE at all. So I'm just going to. Uh, you have two attacks and a good bonking arm. I am going to attack this. Cobra here. I can always try to pick one up and swing him like a like a whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll just I'll stick to regular old attacking. You go for the top cobra for number two. What do you do to number two? What is he getting for breakfast? The warhammer. Crack. Give me the big old hammer. If your warhammer is not magical, it's uh yeah. I don't, I don't think it's just a warhammer. It's just just a big hammer. Okay. Wait, no, that's the wrong number. There we go. Well, you still conk it, and it still looks a little bit dizzy for just a second. Then I'm going to follow it up with shield time. Oh. Aww. Aww. Sad face. Yeah, especially since your shield, I think, is magical, because it's got some weird stuff going on with it as a defender. You whiff it. Catlord, it's your turn. Goopala is up and ready to roll. <sighs> they don't move. Oh, well. Let's see. I'm going to try moving... How far can I move? As far as your movement. <laughs> Let me check if it's like the usual 30 feet. Yes. Although moving through the grease, through the shrubbery... Well, actually, you're a cat. You're tiny. You'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to move... Uh... Wow. This is not moving this... Right I'm going to move here. You are next to another snake. Hello. Yeah. And then I'm going to... <sighs> this is annoying. Let's see. Where do... If I were to draw a cone, where yeah. do I start? Well, there's a special ruler tool for cones. Um, I don't know. You can start on an edge, you can start on a corner, you can start at the center. Okay, then corner sounds fine. Actually, middle of the edge sounds also fine. <sighs> oh, whoops. Snap to yeah, I want to, like... You want to do that? Sorry, I want to like clip the two stone guardians and the cobra without clipping any of my friends. That's entirely possible, from he yes. Yeah. Then psychic blast. What are the rolls they need to make since I think this is a saving throw? An intelligence saving throw. DC? Uh. What would be the DC for my psychic powers? You're kidding me, wow. Because honestly, I wouldn't it's even know. It's intelligence, plus your proficiency modifier, plus eight. It should be registered on your character sheet, under spells. Under so spells, but... It is 16. Well, if then. it's going to roll off my charisma, not intelligence, then yeah, 16, I guess. Okay. They all get flunkied. Roll me the full damage. Okay. And don't forget to deduct your spell points. Your, 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 your power beans. 
my power. Yeah, I have power beans because I'm cat. So roll me the damage. Sh show us the be show us the goods. Show uh, me the goods. Okay, that's a eight d eight, I believe. Why do you Plus uh, four. Uh, I don't know what your spell does. That's not my job. But let me look. What 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 do you have? What does it cost? <laughs> I don't know what it costs. Psychic assault should tell you what it costs. Yeah, it costs six. Exciting. Then you deduct six points, and then you roll me the damage. I deduct the six points. I'm going to roll, roll me the, the damage. damage. With the plus four because of my some class feature. It's sound fix. This boy completely explodes. The psychic energy starts oh, cool. with his brain, and then every sensor and nerve inside his nervous system just goes kaboom. The cobra next to you also just basically explodes. You were hit by some metal shrapnel, but uh, luckily there's a lot of shrubbery to dampen the impact there. The co other okay. construct down the line drops Aurora as it, okay. as it briefly reaches for its head and tries to shake off the fact that it just got completely blasted. Splendid. Okay. Very much so. We were actually... You might just make it. Who knows? Wouldn't that be great? Um, I would prefer with food it, yes. Stone Defender number six gets to make his move. He sees the situation is escalating. You know what? Hello, Megos. <laughs> Megos, remind me of your AC as I rolled the attack roll. It's Never mind, 17. I don't need it. He rolled too bad. <laughs> <laughs> just blinks off. Iron yeah. Goba, number three. I think he just got destroyed, so he gets to go off the list. Uh, uh, is there a number? What do I have? Oh, I forgot. I technically have two more of these boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I forgot there were eight. Secret bonus boys. They come out oh, of if I knew, If I knew they were here. Oh, well. I mean... Imperfect information. It's the dark. It's there's sh shrub yeah. all around. They suddenly come. Yeah, they were hidden. Okay. We'll say that they don't do anything this turn because it wouldn't be too fair if I just jumped them on you. Majus, you are prone. Get up again and have them had it. Yep. I get up and I move over here. The machine. Okay, I get an attack for opportunity and he gets snagged on a branch. Yep. He's very big. Uh, figures. Hmm. All right. Oh, oh, you guys are so nicely lined up for a lightning bolt or something. <laughs> and, like dominoes. Your great, great fireball range there. Yeah, guys, you know, I have a 20 by 20 cube attack, so if you weren't piled up... Well, piling up is how fighting goes. Majos, let yeah. him have it. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. And feed our to use damage, and everybody is standing in there, so nah, I'm not gonna use that. Oh, hi. Hi. I activate my, activate my machine spirit guardian protocol. What? <laughs> what does that mean? That sounds very neat, but you know. Spirit guardians. <laughs> sounds very complicated. They appear like robots because you are a robot man. Well, you cast this creature, you can designate any number of creatures see to be unaffected by it. Okay, so all your imagine all your boys are fine. Yep. Unaffected creature speed is halved in the air. Okay, so they they are slow boys now. Uh, if they first time on their turn, they must make a wisdom saving throw. On a saving throw, they get fucked. Uh, what kind of damage do you do? Necrotic or radiant? Uh, radiant, radioactive, you know. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, so everyone within your like little special boy range gets uh. I think Get... it's. Hmm. I think it's five d eight damage. Uh, if you bump it up, yes, it will do more damage. Well, of course, I'm pumping up. I I only have fifth level spell slots. <laughs> Everything within your range is gonna get severely bonked by radiation, disrupting their internal electronics. Um. All right. Yeah. It, and then comes this guy's turn, and he is not technically in range, but he will probably just... walk into it when he wants to approach. Aurora. You're on your butt, but you can get back up again if you give it a go. It's your time to actually start moving and shaking the world. The machine right next to you is severely damaged. You can probably knock him out in a solid blow. And behind you are like another set of boys you can bonk if you want. 
Just throw them around like candy. Said something about computer trouble. Yeah, yeah one. I saw the post. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Eh. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Let's set it. Sounds like a dial up mode. <laughs> Yes, uh, our bingo sheet. I need to. Okay, I'm back. Aurora, there's a nearly broken down machine on one side and more boys on the other. What do you do? You're on the ground. You need to get up and ha let them have it. I uh, look at the one that was uh, holding me hostage and I go to stab it. I stab it good. Well, your, your first one doesn't quite make it, but the second one sure. Sure, renders him to junk as he falls inert in your arms. Yay. Uh, which one was that? Uh, oh, wait, number one, I think, got destroyed, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about earlier. My uh, laptop spontaneously ran out of power. Well, good news. Grosdan, there's oh. no robots between you and your turn. So your turn comes up. Unless Aurora wants to okay. make more moves. Uh, do I have any more moves? You technically have half your movement and your bonus action. Oh, uh... I guess I shall move out of the way a bit. You step aside. You leave an after image. Rosdan. <laughs> Show me the goods. There are snakes and robot men all around you. Yeah. Iki, I wanna shove. Uh... How can I ping again? Hmm. Why is it working again? I wanna shove that guy here. How oh, is ping working again? It's... That one? I'm gonna shove that one with my horns. Oh, no, wait. No, wait. That's two. That's one. Oh, that's just great. Okay, who do you shove with the horns again? Uh, that one. Alright. Because I wanna. Give him the horns. So. Um, no, first I need to. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna attack him with a storm boomerang and then I'm gonna shove him as a bonus action. Go ahead. So, back is a tag, of course. Uh, good news. You do shove him. Or you do get. Uh, him, so, whatever happens next, happens next. Yeah, okay, now I'm gonna shove him with my horns. Strength save, okay. Um, no wedge there. <laughs> it fails. It is knocked back. Up to 10 feet. Mm. How far do you go? 10 feet? Uh, yeah, I would like that. Yeah, 10 feet is fine. Ooh. Then I'm gonna move to here. You move back. Then, yeah. And then I'm gonna attack this one with my multi attack, the next attack. Go for it. Show me the goods. Again with the boomerang. Without the thunder, but it is still a magic weapon. So it still does quite well. Yeah. So, while this is going on, um, and as we roll into the Iron Cobra turn, just make sure this number one. You notice that there are like a few merchants running by, walking by. They don't seem to stop for day and night. Uh, they don't seem to be as uh, excited to cheer for you guys at this moment as they were before. Good. <laughs> no, 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 that's it. There we go. There we go. Um. Well, you get bit. Can I get another oh, Constitution yeah. saving throw? Good old Grosdan. Uh, the Cobra takes quite D8. Or Elf on a save. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, roll me that damage. Grab a big handful of dice. Oh, well, that just knocks the wind <laughs> out of it. It's not dead, but it sure is. It's just assaulted by Omni Size Spirit saying, Heretic, heretic. Mm -hmm. Or at least that's what it sounds like to you to everyone else. It's, it's just weird noises. 
<laughs> okay, Grazden, I need that constitution saving throw still. Yeah, sure. As it's poison on ships into your bones. You have a strong body, and it is weak. You still take uh, five damage, which is half down to two. Because you're, if you're angry. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm still angry. I'm always angry. <laughs> Why be happy when you can be angry? This is number three, this is number four, this is number five. Okay. Okay, so number three uh, takes that 20 damage. I'll just do this all, all this bookkeeping ahead of time. Um, fifth, minus 20, and you. Ba, ba, ba. Minus 20. Oh. That's exciting. That's kind of weird that it does it like that. There we go. My papa. Okay. All taken care of. They all rush over. And noticing the middle has begun to become a bigger threat. Oh, number three. If that, hmm? that moves, it also takes damage. So it starts its turn here, so. Yep. It, it has already taken the damage. I've decided to take your 20 for the whole turn so that we don't have to continuously roll for it. Okay. Okay. I've already done for. Cool. Okay. Okay, but he stands there, the and out of movement because he can't move all that far since all the spirits are clinging onto him, like glue. He does the help mm -hmm. action on against you, so that number four can come in for an advantaged attack. Oh. Cur swing, cur swung. Well, he hits uh, both. Um, he hits you for eight damage, and you are not prone. Uh, uh, I activate my shield. Oh, what is your AC now? Um, 22. Still hits. Damn it. Yeah, you got a good hit in. So you are still with your butt on the ground, which seems to be... It's what they do. It's what they do. They they, they make you fall over. Uh, how that, much was... Hmm? How much damage was that? Uh, let me double check. That was 8 damage. 8 damage. And uh, the spirit thing is a concentration. Thing so. Roll me your constitution. Ooh, constitution breaks, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> the spirits go away. They're disappointed in you. Yeah, I. <laughs> Which means that good old number five actually gets to keep his twenty hit points. <laughs> Glitch in the system. <laughs> number five goes four. This guy, the guy next to him, good old Aurora. Just as you finish him off, another one comes swinging from the side. Oh no! You were hit for ten damage. Ah. You are not prone. No. Everyone's on the floor. I run Koba number two. Uh. Well, you are not prone, so you can't really attack for opportunity effectively. It's going to slither over and see if Aurora, Mr. Prone, can be taken care of. Uh, let's God, just keep moves. clicking okay. damage when it's supposed to be clicking the attack roll here. Um, I think this hits. I just double, double, just double sure. Yeah, that's a hit. Uh, Aurora, can I get Constitution saving throw? Also, you take seven damage. Piercing. Exciting! You get to be affected by something exciting. Roll me yeah. a d6. Yeah. If you are resistant or immune to poison, that comes into play in this effect, by the way. Uh, hold on, let me just... I'll just click this button instead. There we go. Four. That would mean we get effect number o day. Oh no! You must make a weapon attack against a random target. You can see within 30 feet of it. So, next time Aurora comes up, she's gonna be a confused. Oh no! At least for the one attack. Um, if it is holding the weapon, it's gonna... Okay, yep. Okay. All sorted and taken care of. Cat Lord! The situation looks good, but it's also looking pretty hectic. There's debris all over the place. People are getting poisoned, knocked down. You might get mopped up at this rate. There's also How two wider? new guys the fray. Yeah, how wide are my cones? Your cones? Uh, cones are, yeah. generally speaking, I think they go with one radius, one rat. Right, so... Do they? Hmm. 
I think if I remember correctly, if they are 15 feet long, they are also 15 feet wide at the end. Yeah, because like I'm pondering if I start my cone like this, so as to. There sorry, is a tool this... for this on your toolbar. It's the circle with the with the ruler sticking out. Uh... There's a cone button. Like there's ruler yeah. and then there's cone, and then there's radius. There is. Huh. And there's also I'm box. Okay. Yeah, I don't, for the kinky I don't boys, there's anything. line. Uh. Yeah. No. Yeah. You don't have it? Well, nope, Can't I see. have. Snap to center, snap to corner, no snapping. <laughs> Short All right. Um, if you just that might be a premium option. If you just want to hit these guys, I say that with this you'll hit all of them except Mr. 8. Um, I want to start so that I can maybe hit the two by mags while avoiding the mags so, that, so as to clip them like this. Yep, that's it. like I said, you can hit 3, 6, 4, and 7, but you won't hit number 8 and you won't hit mags. Like okay, that. so... Yeah, those five on the right. So we're going to hit the uh, the Cobra over there. Okay. Yeah. Show what me have? the tuna. I mean... So I'm going to deduct another six points for a Psychic Blast and... You can make the intelligence saves. Yeah, they can't roll those for shit. Like they need to roll twenty to to match your ace, your DC. <laughs> well. So yes, they're all boned. Whatever you're doing. Okay, another eighty-eight plus four. Roll me the tuna. Not the best. Uh, he goes away. Cobra is left hanging by a thread. This guy gets completely destroyed, and this guy also feels somewhat under the weather. So excuse me, but uh, they're all they're all they're all not feeling too hot right now. That's cool. And with Can that, I still move? They all well, you destroyed one of them. The rest are still moving. Gupala. <laughs> I mean, can I still move? You can still move, you still have your movement. Hey, I will just scoot out of the way. You're bit. out of the way. Go, Paula! Go! Everyone's doing all these exciting things. Go, Bistot, your war cry. Go! <laughs> your exciting mm. is that you are large. I am going to... Throw my shield at this guy. Yeah, I'm clicking, doing the thing. We got that guy. Oh, fine. Because it hits him and. Wait, who? I need a roll for that. Who's getting who? I was uh, taking a scratch out there. Oh. Um, this, the this one guy. to the right of me, yeah. No, right. Top guy. You gonna give him the shield throw? Yeah, toss the shield. I don't know. Is that a do I just roll shield bash for that? I didn't even know you could throw your shield, but yeah, Mjolnir shield. Mjolnir shield. Um, could you? Ugh. Sorry. No, could you ever lift your shield? Uh, you can summon your shield, but it doesn't specify. Oh, I you can summon it. it. I can't throw it. Okay. I mean, you can't throw it. It's a pretty big shield. Eh. Yeah. Nah, on second thoughts, if it's not something I can actually do, I'm just gonna smack some guys. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, you've got like five guys close to you. Yeah, I've, I've got enough targets. Uh, I'm going to smack Mr. Snake. Closest snake. With hammer time. Crack boom! Despite your magnificent muscles, this thing is sturdy. Then follow it up with Mr. Shield Bash, which for some reason always lows, rolls lower. It may roll lower, but the thing is crap. It just turns into a spray of shrapnel. So that's nice. 
just flies off into the distance. Um, I need, really need to keep track of who the hell is destroyed and who isn't, but... Cobra number four moves in and goes in for the snipey snap on our good friend. Um, okay, you take five damage, and you are immune to poison, I think. Uh, I think so. So you're fine. Just the five damage. Uh, who's next? So on defender number six. is gonna move Good. over. Scoot. And go for an attack on Goopala. A swing and a miss. It tries its best. Number seven comes in. And Dulce. No. Okay. Uh, can I get a strength roll out of you, Goopala? Strength roll, strength roll, strength roll. Oh, good. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> but, uh, it, Great. As you are busy swinging your shield around, it latches on around you, but considering your size and heft, it's more it, it's just weighing you down, if anything. <laughs> Majos, it's your oh, no. it's your time to to get up and, and, and stop being on the ground. Yep. Uh, get up again. Just kind of piecing myself up. Hum. And then I just kind of, again, a kind of this pipe pops out of my back, goes thump. And we have a, I have a grenade that blasts all of, all, all of these guys. Exciting. Um... Okay, well, I don't think I have to... Okay, that guy is... I need to roll the... Okay, this guy is destroyed, guaranteed. He turns into smithereens, his debris going all over the place. Uh, does the Cobra make it? He is fine, so he takes... Oh, no, wait, he's still destroyed. By a hair. Um, and this guy also just blows up. And this guy, you better make the saving throw. I'm kind of annoyed. Uh, no, no, he also just takes the full s slathering. That's one hell of a grenade. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that can just deal enough damage to... Yeah, the, the, the place is looking kind of clear now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm kind of low on charge, too. Yeah. I mean... Listen, 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 Goopala. There's a way to make this to make this work. There's the token editor tab on your character sheet. You can go to the bars. You can type in HP. You, you, you throw that puppy. You throw that nasty boy in, and they click on bar one C. They update all your default tokens, and then this happens. It didn't happen, so that's probably not a proper token you're using. No, wait. I clicked the wrong button. That's what happened. There we go. <laughs> now Goopala oh. has a health bar on all of her tokens. Hooray! It is. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, yeah, Mr. H is not dead. Um, but I think that I don't have that option because I'm not the GM. Because uh, I can use the bar, but uh... it's not a GM thing. It wouldn't be a GM thing. That wouldn't make any sense at all. Uh, well, the it's... GM is the only one who can do who can do. Uh, like I've used the token editor as a player, and yeah, yeah. I think I think the token editor is part of the plugin. Uh, yeah, extension. Uh, no, there is edit token. I can do that. Okay. I I can change my health to the. Something different. See? Uh, yeah, but I mean, I can't sync it to the character sheet. That's my problem. Because I don't have is... that up in oh, my edit token. Aurora. Your turn has come. I have uh, edit token. Uh, well, different. you're next to this guy, so you're just going to attack him anyway. Yeah. The, the little poison doesn't affect too much. <laughs> I flail wildly. Uh, you only get one weapon attack this turn. Oh, sorry. Um, you do conk the machine next to you, though. And you break it. You break it, you Yay. Five. Um, actually, there's only number eight and number seven left, so... Uh, but, but, Grosdan, it is your turn. What do you do? The cleanup is going on. You guys can just mop it all up at this point. Yeah, probably. So we're just going to take you out of initiative and, and say that you all just conk the final few heads, because there's not much they can do at this point. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Heads are slammed. Wasn't that bad? <laughs> mm-hmm. 
There's now a whole oh, bunch of scrap him. around you. These things just seem to fall apart the minute you break them. We made quite a mess. I make a victory pose, which is to groom myself. I like it. I, I try to eat the bits of scrap. It tastes terrible. I spit it out. Yeah, man. There's like lead in there. So, the night is slowly making way for dawn. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Grostan should now have a health bar. Well, has a health bar, yes, because that only takes filling out the tokens, the token, both values. You see the merchants walking by. The sun is crest slowly looming up in the east. Meanwhile, Gupala rolls around, apparently. Yes. Do you move on? I imagine so. Yeah, well... Yeah, about time. Let's... Around. You got a nice wake-up call. Room. You're all feeling lively and fresh. As yeah. you move your, your, your butts over to the fifth tower. Uh, Let's hit the road. Major, what's up? Do we... Uh... Restore any damage and uh, stuff from uh, after the after that fight, or do we? Yep. You're gonna have to enter your damage. Next, uh, next oh, damage. <laughs> I tanked all that damage. So I shouldn't have left your healer out in the cold. <laughs> As you move on down the road, the the fifth tower oh. becomes a clearer and clearer image. It is a wizardly spire, shall I say. It, it sort of curves left and right, wobbly. It is more thickly surrounded by trees than the other towers, and has a weird curly top that almost looks like a wizard's hat. It's a very, it's a very finely themed tower. Hmm. But it's full of magic. Naturally. As you approach it, you see someone walking outside, yawning, stretching, snorting a bit. It is a skeleton. Why he's yawning, you'll never know. <laughs> How he can breathe, we'll never know. Well, it has a nose hole. It has nostrils, yes. It also has lots of armor. I mean, it probably has like a single nose, nostril since... It is around midday by the time you arrive, by the way. Yeah. The creature doesn't seem okay. interested in speaking, but... I approach it cautiously. It's a skeleton. He looks at you. Or at least to the best of your knowledge, he looks at you. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. He, he, he briefly waves and then walks back inside. And after a brief moment, another person comes out. Or actually, two people come out. They look like humans, oh. but one of them looks a bit blue and the other looks a bit red. Oh no, it's Team Fortress 2. No, I mean, one of them has blue robes, the other has red robes. Uh oh. Oh no, not both. Uh, does the red robe have gold trim? They both have gold trim, yes. They uh -oh. have very fancy robes. Why? What's all this then? Push us out in the morning. Up. Ah! Look at this! I, I immediately take the one in red robes. You go in for the kill on the red robe man. Um, well, your firebolt doesn't seem to do anything. It just kind of waves his hand and it goes away. Hmm. Aurora looks Look really pissed for no, some reason. They come all the way over from whatever tower these, these, these dingus have come from. They're throwing firebolts at me. I Put him on ice, Frostbite! Put him on ice! Frostbite kind of mm. leans in, or at least you imagine that that's what the person called Frostbite because she's the one who leans in and goes, you really, really should make better friends. 
than just shouting at people to kill them. Uh, Do any of you guys intervene as Aurora is about to go on a rampage against the wrong type of people? <clears throat> yeah, Are can I cross? restrain Aurora in any way, shape, or form? You can use your big muscles to restrain him. Athletics, if you wish. Big muscles. Go. <laughs> Biggest muscles. Aurora, you might be able to. <laughs> since you're, there's an opposed check. Uh, which do, what, is that a strength check? Or athletics? So it's a skill. Uh, one moment. Uh oh, I have advantage. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm restrained. You are, you are held. You mind telling me what your, what your boy's problem is? Come into my house. I think he doesn't like red. Oh, he doesn't like red. Oh, he doesn't like red. He throws up his hands. <coughs> it's not a bowl. Yeah, Aurora a is bowl. drooling and growling fiercely. <laughs> just put him on ice! <laughs> just show him what you got, then they'll go away and they'll stop soliciting and go back to that tower. So you are guardians of this tower. Um, as you look through the doorway to, to acknowledge them, you see uh, between their legs a small kobold. You see the skeleton who has taken up his big shield. And you also see a, 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 a mushroom, which looks and shapes by, like a person. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's an orc. <laughs> Might as well be. The big skeleton grabs uh, the red guy by the shoulder and just jerks him inside. And you hear him swearing as he lands. Oi! That table was new! <laughs> So the red guy is now inside? Yes, he's inside. And probably crashed through a table by the sound of it. <laughs> Alright, Aurora comes down slightly. What's your friend's problem? Mm. Allergies. <laughs> How so, long have you been guardians here? Uh, a while. It's not exciting, is it? Every day yes. something comes by, and when you don't feel like it, nothing happens. That is why we are going to see the wizard. Good luck! The wonderful wizard. Get of very us. far. And she just sort of walks back inside melodramatically, waving her arms. <laughs> You'll succeed at nothing and you will pay the price. I'm surprised you made it this far. <laughs> Usually, you dumbasses get your ass killed. Well, pessimistics. The mushroom. Wisely scratches what you think is its chin, but it has like a flat face that goes straight into its neck, so you can't tell if it's its chin or something, or its mouth, or its nose. It's somewhere at face height. Does it have a vest? A what? Is it wearing a vest? Um, it is wearing a vest, yes. But that is all it's yep. wearing. It's like a, a leather chicken. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's also covered in other mushrooms. Ugh. Hmm. The, the little, little cobalt just kind of starts to close the door. No solicitations. <laughs> if you have problems, you take it up with Asmodeus. <laughs> we are going to see the wizard. I might even want to pause. Well, you still got half the day, so if you want to push it, you can make it to the gates. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Adventure. Let's push it. The beat's getting beat up by these guys. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You take steps. You take your steps. What a nice road. What nice merchants. Who all seem to give you a scowl. They're not as happy with you as they were before. As you might the gates themselves. <laughs> um, there's quite the, the, the merry band of people there. <clears throat> Should we take a rest? I you could... can always just jump on a, on a on a merchant's cart and rest. Take a short rest there if you need. Yeah, okay. You need healing or something? Are you low on health? Uh, I my coils are running low on energy. He needs to open up his solar panels. Well, I can mm. heal you if you need to. I can also heal me, but that will also train train more, even more of my power. Well, my oh. HP is 69. Nice out of 86. Nice! <laughs> 69. 
69, 69, 69, yeah. Boop, boop. So would that be for me or? I'm resting. Yeah, if we, if we pop on a squat real quick, and rest up a little. Oh, well, if you want to take an hour break, you can do so, but don't. by the time you arrive at the gate, it will be dark. Perfect. Oh, 12. As long as we arrive at the gate today, who cares? How many power points do we recover out of this? None. We get them back after a long rest. Okay, then I guess I'm just going not to. Somehow I feel like people don't consider me much of a target. You're a little kitty. Yeah, exactly. And if they attack a kitty, they are a <laughs> bad person. And I DM'd yesterday and killed with a green hack, a freaking mastiff. Hey, I wasn't happy. So, what tragedy! <laughs> when you oh. arrive at the, 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 the beautiful uh, gates, you see the gates, you see the city, there's the sound of gears in the distance, you see merchants going in through three separate gates, each of which are made out of gold? Brass? You're not quite sure. But before you can approach, um, there is the last toll booth, and there are but two people manning it. It is uh, a person in completely hooded up and sort of covered up, and sitting off in a corner, and a tall snake person. Like, snake legs as tail and all. Oh, man. Ho, ho, ho. If my <clears throat> eyes deceive me, it's none other than the ghost of the power. What brings you to the king? I have a complaint. Kayla looks around briefly. You sure you have to lodge a complaint? It's better not to cause any wave around here. The bigger the wave, the larger the pup. Mm. Gives you a little wink. You better try your luck at the gate on the other side. What? Listen, it's the best I understand. You can't just go through the gate without getting eaten by it or something. How big are these? Uh, the gates are massive. The walls are are tremendously tall. Okay, I get it. So. We can't climb up. All right. If, if you if you can marathon climb, you can try it. I can climb very we well, but yeah. <laughs> I am made for failing, not climbing. So, what else can I help you with? By the way, my name is Sisia. He holds out his hand. Look, I'm really good at climbing. Hiya, I'm Goopel. My wife. I'm, I'm Godstone. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Gotta be polite. Magus, o Magus Auxiliarus Artemis, 5.8. Lovely. <laughs> so you really, you really want to go in, go in there, do you? You want to? Yeah. Try uh, well, actually, 5.9 now. <laughs> I love it. 5.9 beta. Well, and um, and. Um, Am I, am I going to be able to dissuade you? No. Maybe. <sighs> well, then it was nice knowing you. Hmm. Um, I'm Open. going to walk up to the wall. It's a wall. Made of metal. <laughs> yeah. And then see how far can stick my ghost through the wall take me. You push your ghost against the wall and just go smush against it. Oh, it is it solid is very as a rock solid. to you in ghost form. Interesting. So, what? So, what? So, the gates are closed. Well, no. They open up for every merchant that comes by and drops the little coin in the, in the bucket. Okay. Do we have any coins? I. We could just accompany a merchant. 
I go rummaging through a merchant's cart and get stuck in it. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, we could try to hide in the merchant's like, cart. Yeah, but... just shakes a second. Oh my goodness! <laughs> 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 then there is suddenly a deep, deep rumble. Oh no! Hmm. Deep rumbles are never a good thing. <laughs> It's, 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 it's my stomach. It's never a good thing. It's a deep rumble. That means something is yeah. on Earth side. No, no, yeah. it's my stomach. I'm hungry. <laughs> kind of tecton tectonic phenomena. Well, there's no yeah, my stomach right is here. a tectonic phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is pushing the Earth side? I mean, if you wait around, you might be able to see what happens, but you're hearing some noise coming from inside a small guard tower that's, like, haphazardly built against the ca uh, the, the gates. Well, then, I mean... What harm? It's probably not going to hurt us more to stay and watch than to try to get into the city, if that's what this snake person's saying. I mean, at this point, you could wait for the evil rumble or go inside the city. Go back oh, and enjoy gonna... the ride. Yeah, I'm both and options sound dangerous, so whatever. I'm gonna try and go in the city. Just walk up and go through the door. Yeah. So, so you're all gonna go with that? You gonna well, gonna hit ride with the merchant? Don't we get stopped by? Oh, the guard. The the, the guard doesn't stop you. Zasia just is just radiating for the fact that something is coming. Oh, okay. Mm. You also know that out of the, the guard building storm a few other people, if you bother to look. Hmm. I mean, we could also help them. Maybe gain favor, sir. I mean, maybe we should wait and see what's happening first. We can make a run. If we need to run, then we can run in. Merchants mm. don't seem too concerned. Yeah, My, uh... the merchants are kind of crazy. <laughs> Yeah, they kind of just stood around and watched like a oh, giant man. serpent before. Two green dragons. That's dragons. fine. I can watch. <laughs> a vampire. This is fun. Two green dragons. So you think that's what's coming? I don't, <laughs> they don't really seem to understand the concept of mortality. <laughs> so you want to stand there? Mark. So you all stand there gormlessly like a bunch of fools. Don't be fair, so <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> this is the game, man. This is stuff for it. Like the whole time. Hey, I'm going to... As you all stand I... around like a bunch of Gormous fools. I'm walking in the uh. gates. So... You get to see so several large mechanical engines coming up in the distance. <laughs> you watch as a blue dragon figure, a dwarf, a lizard folk, another kobold, and um, a bird get out of the guard toast and join the snake person. Uh, the hooded person stays still for a moment. Uh, in the distance are a gigantic worm mounted by a metal man and a gigantic fiery spewing engine also mounted by a man. They are racing towards this location with breakneck speed. I think that's that big for. You hear that? I don't the... know about this new Mario Kart game, guys. You hear the people, you heard the, the, the guards, the post specifically mentioning the constructs. Well, <sighs> great. If it's constructs, that bloody well means we got a whole problem on our hands. <laughs> she turns around and goes, Are you idiots gonna get back to your bloody tower or gonna have to fix up your mess for you? No. Why? Well, fine a enough. Mess? I'm looking for a good fight anyway. You bunch of jessies. But, what kind of mess does he mean? I don't know. There's a giant worm that's about the size of a building. Then another yeah, building, but then is that building. our fault because we weren't at the tower? Yeah, that seems to be the reason why these constructs are coming after you. But only when it's dark, oh. so far. Oh, um, so because we smell bad, okay. Yeah, maybe, who knows? You might be breaking some unspoken rules. It's not like you guys are doing any- <laughs> Rules are meant to be broken. But if they're unspoken, how are we supposed to know about them? But as you all decide yeah. to go inside, just, just, just leaving these poor people to fend for themselves. Um, the hooded person <laughs> gets well. up. Takes aim at one of you, and then there's a click, and she moves on to the fight, quickly exchanging the bullets in her chamber. She has two handguns. Mm -hmm. 
With that, you are now inside the gates. The gates are an airlock mechanism. There are two gates, one in front, one behind. Um, the one behind you closes up as you are all in the same room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boss is closed. And then the front gate opens up. Can everyone please roll me, roll me a wisdom saving throw? Oh god. Why are you stuff I'm bad in? <laughs> hey, my, my minus one. No, it's gonna happen. It's a zero. Close! Close. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone except Matos is essentially completely in a daze the second a crack forms in the door in front of you. As some of the most powerful magic spills through, designed to render whoever looks at it completely stunned. Even Majels takes a couple of seconds to, to clear his head of what is basically binary overload that happens in his little, poor little computer brain. Yeah. It felt like the Omnisai himself was talking to you, but your loyalty is strong. Yeah. What you see in front of you is not a city. What you see in front of you is a massive processing plant, if you were to judge it by anything. As your compatriots are standing flabbergasted, and the merchant seems to be fine, Although he seems to be one of those gormless fool types. Uh, yeah, there's just there's processing in front of you. There's tubes filled with things, but you're a little too far away to quite make out. But there's lots of space, nice lighting. I go around slapping the others. Yeah. Everyone, Step out of it, fools. You take your time to snap yeah. everyone out of it. Um, so y'all just gonna enjoy the view as the elevator goes down, down, down. Because you're standing on a platform that's moving forward and then just starts going straight down. Oh, so... Is it the same platform that was part of the air, like the, the floor is... of the airlock? Yeah. Okay then. Well, the the getting off. <laughs> so yeah. Are there any other platforms that we could jump off? There, are, there seem to be several like maintenance walkways and the platforms of the other doorways nearby. The sound of of is slowly getting louder. Yeah. Okay. Uh... <sighs> If need be, I'm just going to phantom carve and everyone onto a walkway. Do you say phantom what is? Oh, that's probably a nomadic thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's the nomadic step phantom carve, which is like me and six, up to six willing creatures. If you're all willing, you teleport onto a walkway. Yeah. I trust the kitty. Nice. Cool. I fall on my face because I was headfirst in the cart. <laughs> Grab his butt. <laughs> Give it a honk. Oh. Aurora, you as you oh. as you teleport, Aurora is the only one who is like half over a very OSHA compliant railing. <laughs> oh no. Now well, as you something. watch the platform sink down, you watch that it just suddenly starts tilting and tilting, and then the merchant and his caravan land inside a big grinder. Ooh. He doesn't even scream. What? How nice of him. <clears throat> Huh. Well, I guess he just saved all our lives. Good kitty! <laughs> Hat pass. <laughs> the bus the is supposed to be the grinder, you, you see. Okay, so I'm going to guess the wizard would be at the center of all this. wonder if Maybe. the merchants are extruded from somewhere. I mean, they spoke of a gate to the west. Hmm. However, you're standing on a thin walkway. This walkway is just wide enough to support most of you people walking single file. Yeah, let's get going. You, the walkway ends here. There's a small control panel, but you have no clue what it does or what it's for. It's also screwed oh. shut with like a plastic uh, case. I, I take a look at this. It's a panel behind a plastic sheet. The sheet is mounted on with several screws. You are able to identify the exact mm -hmm. type of screwdriver required to open this. Yep. Oh no. He's gonna right. craft a screwdriver. <laughs> well, no, he probably I... just has a screwdriver on him. Well, yeah, it's one of my fingers. It's just... <laughs> Amazing. Go, go, gadget screwdriver. A Phillips head screwdriver, <laughs> five millimeters, exactly, into the hole. And, boop, pop off the control panel. Mm. The control panel has a number of lights and buttons, and appears to indicate Ooh. the status of each individual grinder. Flashy lights. Nice. Interesting. Can I? Hmm. I can I turn them off? Um. 
Sure, there's a button that says main power breaker. Yep. Let's sh shut it all down. As you watch the main power breaker, you watch as a cart lands on a frozen grinder that slows down relatively quickly. There's a large <laughs> as all the grinders get their brake wheels slammed into them. Um, you've decided to cause quite a ruckus by essentially shutting down a large portion of the processing facility. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll just yank some wires out. You decide to open up a small wire check panel. Probably used for like voltage checks. And you yank some wires out. You now have a handful There's of wires. There's no way this can go poorly. Some of the lights are broken. <laughs> right. You are also smart enough to know that if you decide to disrupt a process of this size, you're going to alert maintenance. Of course. Yep. <laughs> That's the plan. Okay. You, want, you got kicked out out of this plane because we're still we're only making dumps. <laughs> of course, if maintenance happens to be a golem, they can just throw you over the ledge. Hmm. Yeah, or I so can throw them I... over the ledge. Nice. I would, like to... I would like to look around to try to find like solid ground near a large building or something. Uh, this walkway seems to go around a while and then it goes behind some machinery in the distance that transports tubes. Filled with goo. Oh man, like me. <laughs> there are doors, but they don't seem to open. And any attempts to break them open just results in this might as well be a wall. I mean... Are we in a... We are not in a closed corridor or something. Nope, can you, are, I see... you are in a very open space. Yeah, can I see a large <laughs> building in the distance? There are no large buildings here, just machines and machinery. Things that look like buildings, you would give it a second look, and you're like, that's probably not an actual building. Not enough windows. Right. Can I try to identify the purpose of all this? You can roll me a check that you think fits this description. Ugh. What if your character yeah. defines your capacity to know what the hell you're looking at? Well, since I don't have mechanics, I'm going to say Arcana. You're pretty gosh darn sure that this facility is designed to repurpose and reprocess uh, organic material. Mm. And also separate it from magical components. That's mostly because you see a magic magnet over there and it's like pulling out all the junk. Ah, yes. <laughs> you pretend to be clever, but anyone who looks at it knows that you're just, you just saw that yourself. <laughs> magic in there. As you stand around once more, like gormless fools. <sighs> Again, I'm trying to figure out... If you're going to go down okay. the pathway, I will tell you what's down the pathway. But you have to say that you're going down the pathway. Well, yeah. yeah. You head down the one road you got. Because for some reason I need I'm permission to do that. I'm trying to scope out a proper expensive ground for us to teleport down to. What do, what do you want expansive ground for? Um, not being on a walkway that we could fall off. Off. Fair enough. Wait, how high is the walkway anyway? As you walk far enough along the walkway, past a vertical conveyor belt that obstructs much of your vision from where you were, um, you can't help but notice a few things. One, you're looking at a, at a sheer wall at the end of this all. That seems to be the boundary. It, if, if you look carefully, you think it has a slight curvature. Sort of likely you're looking at the inside of one oh, no, of those snow globes edges. Uh, also, the walkway here goes down into a big staircase that goes up and down. Right at the edge of the wall. The second wall. Down below is probably where solid ground's going to be. Up high is probably going to be the maintenance access ways. Yeah. <clears throat> I also detect magic is probably just gonna <laughs> show this entire place blazing. Uh, if you decide to use detect magic at any point, your eyeballs are going to bleed out of your skull, essentially. <laughs> well, it's nice servitor that does that. Also, so. as a slight note, you can no longer talk to each other. Hmm. It's too loud, I'm guessing? Uh, no, whatever magic spell allowed people to communicate, uh, that spell doesn't seem to work down here. Squishy goop noises. Yeah. Well, you can never send me anyway. I was just barking the yip and yep. growl. I, no, yeah, I just make weird 
mechanical noises. Click, clack, look. Jiggles! <laughs> you hear stuff I'm going to... high up on the staircase. Yeah. I'm going to telepathy to the Magus. What do you tell him? Telepathy crosses all language barriers. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I can relay messages if you need me to. <laughs> awesome. All right. And then I tell this to everyone but Aurora, because I don't believe Aurora is someone I can do this to. Aurora is an intelligent being. You can talk to him. Hmm. Yeah, but will I understand? It's telepathy. specifically specifies you can just talk to people. Provided they're not completely <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Well, yeah, they yeah, just need to have a language. Yeah. Like, I believe Aurora is so special that not... <laughs> she doesn't right. even have a language. But, uh, hop up. Oh. Yeah, but the other four people are connected telepathically, so that's cool. Yeah, I can really understand never... commands, I just can't, can't, I just can't understand speech. Okay. Can I make... Like, make out the command center or something like that in this mess. There's a map next to you, as one oh, right. of the a... nexus point. I was about to ask about writing on the wall. No, there's just there a map. Any... Um, oh. The map is of the entire facility. It's like a big map of like the whole uh, entire location, including the road, the towers, what's north, what's south. Um, and perhaps more interestingly, there's a smaller map of this local facility. Stomp, 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 stomp. Okay. I study the map. See. You take your, you take your time and study the map. Stomp, 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 stomp. Um, I, uh... I'm going to turn on danger sense of my precognition. Danger sense. You gotta... well, so wait, that's wait, wait, five what, more what, points. Wait, what, what is this ability you're using? Uh, danger sense and precognition discipline. Oh my. Precognition. Danger zone sense. Uh, up to eight hours, you create a psychic model of. <laughs> oh wow! Um, you're pretty gosh dang sure that there are some footsteps up above coming downstairs. <laughs> but I already told I'm... you. That. Yeah, I'm going to telepathy to the... this to people, so that they know. I'm pretty sure that they're all aware of these footsteps. I'm going yeah. to then wander down the stairs. Um, if you want to, Away from uh, Artemis, ones. you can just tear the map off the wall and take it with you. They'll take offense, but at least you'll, you can read it without sticking around. I mean, we already messed up this stuff. How much angrier can they get? <laughs> we've probably broken all the rules. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's the plan. I point in the direction of the uh, control center. In order to get to Control Center, you first have to go down to the ground floor. Then you have to use Access Shaft X1. All X1 shafts automatically lead to the nearby command center of the local... You just start rattling this stuff off. Yeah. You guys start stomping down the staircase. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just going to hop onto Gopel because... Gee, walking. You are now at the ground floor. This is... Uh, you know how Dexter's laboratory looks like? Like, there's all these large pillars of technology all over the place. <laughs> yes. It's kind of what it looks like from here. If you didn't have a map, this would be impossible to navigate. There are lots of machines around here. Um, they're all pretty white and, and sterile-looking. Magical, perhaps. You, you, you don't you don't want to stick around to look, do you? I mean, you can tear them apart. Maybe something valuable inside. But otherwise, you can I... follow Artemis' directions to where you need to go. I uh, start wandering aimlessly until someone tells me where to go. Well, Artemis is telling us all where to go, so... I take it we are all following the... Artemis following the map. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I'm leading the way then, I guess. You go to yep, the command center are. of the local station. You bum, see... Bum, bum quite a nice building. It is a trapezoid, which is an exciting shape. <gasps> One of the most exciting. It's like two triangles glued to a square. Is it? Whoa! You f first you're like, hey, where's the door? And then you walk around and you're like, oh, the door's to the other side. Where you also notice that there are some defensive turrets mounted around the entrance. 
Mm. The entrance itself is a glass door you could probably just storm through if you had a car. <laughs> well, we have a cross, that's almost as good. <laughs> yeah, maybe. If, if he doesn't mind being shot at by some turrets on the approach. <sighs> mind a little bit? Mm. Probably can't. I mean, I could do that. The I'm idea. the big tank guy, and I can go big, and everyone can jump inside me. <laughs> what? Uh, Are you freaking tank? I mean, I guess technically Gupala could be big enough to be like a giant cube of, of gelatin for like a little while. Yeah, uh, can we... Hmm. Can I see any kind of... Uh, like... I don't know... Gar garages or... Well, there's lots of uh, robots and machines going around from like proper legged golems to carts that seem to be automated. Hmm. All right. I'll approach an automated cart. The thing sort of bumps into you and then go goes back and then it tries to go around you. Right. I'll uh, try to <laughs> look look at an uh, like an access panel, panel access panel and uh, try to re rewrite this thing's programming. Romy Samarkana as she decides to stick your sticky fingers in there. Well, I have also just kind of this hanging uh, wires that are just Good all kinds of if we broke it, but you can only give it one command that it will successfully carry out, after which it will probably explode. You might have rewired <laughs> the power core wrong. Yeah, I just aim it towards the glass. I mean, alright. Go and explode there, that's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. stands by Just... outside of the operational... Which, by the way, the turrets have the operational range within which they will shoot marked on the ground with red lines. At a top speed at the window. It slams <laughs> into the window, flips a few times, and lands in the hallways behind it. Alright. Though, to Did be I... fair, it's not the door that was the problem. Eh. Shall we go in? Well, but the turrets. Still parts? Well, yes. yes, turrets. Okay, yeah. so how far away are the turrets? Uh, the turrets have an operational range of sixty feet, as in they will fire at anything that's within sixty feet of them. Oh, goody! I arranged them. Oh, <laughs> they are probably going to shoot at anything beyond that range if it decides to attack them, though. Are they within 100, 120 feet of me? Yes. <laughs> or you could make it so. I uh, cast force field in front of them. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What, what exactly is this? <laughs> ah, you just make a wall. <laughs> force field in front of them. Is it transparent? Oh, it is immune to all damage. Okay. Um, yep. Nothing so, can physically pass through the wall. Immune so, to all damage can't be dispelled by dispel magic. Okay, I've got one. I've got just one little baby question. So the turrets are like there are two of them. There are two like besides the doors you would expect. Um, mm -hmm. So where does the wall go? Uh, in front of the one, and uh, are they like on both sides of sides of the door? They are on yes. um, either side. They're flanking the door. As you would expect. Okay. Right. Okay. One panel in front of the turret on the left side. Oh, you get side. panels. Oh, I see. Ten. Okay. Yeah. In that case, you can just sort of box them in. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you box them all in. Mm hmm. Luckily, you only need five panels to surround one. So. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. If you approach, the turrets will just shoot very frustratedly at you. Yep. Let's go That's in. Handy. You notice the turrets Hooray. getting up, like, they, they, they grow up out of the ground and grow legs, but then they bump on the ceiling and they just keep shooting and moving around in frustration. <laughs> oh, can I... Uh, you are now inside of the turret can, have, can be frustrated? Have emotions? Well, they, they're attacking the walls with increasing, like, speed. Oh no, <laughs> how am I hitting on them? Let's hope they hit... 
Let's hope they have finite ammo. You are now inside a fancy hallway, if you decide to go past them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. There are, there's one going left and one going right. To your left, you can see a staircase going up. To the right, it goes to the left. Like there's a turn. Right. <laughs> there's I'm a sign hanging above you, but right. you don't understand what the language is saying. Mm. Right. To the right. I forgot to get my translation program. Matching. As you've had some time to study the map, I will tell you that you've been able to analyze the following. Um, the main command center appears to be at the center, located under the surface. Um, just coincidentally, where Mina found a tunnel. Who knows? Um, there's also two things known as the Devil's Sphere and the Goddess Sphere, which are located north and south... Uh, no, no. South and north, respectively. Devil's in the south, the uh, angel in the north. Uh, the angel is in the mountainous area, the devil is in the forest area. Funky. There's areas within the gate. No, 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 these are like outside of the gate. Interesting. Like, you're still technically in the same physical space as the, 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 the landscape you just came from. Hmm. Alright, uh, I, uh, I'm following the queue. To the right. As you go yes, around so we the are going to the right. The right go around the corner. And then right. A small round hallway. There are several elevators, like small tubular elevators. And each of them has like a, a, a thing noted above it. Tubular. <laughs> you suddenly okay. come to the realization we... that there are two sets of numbers, one of which looks like the sign you just read, which appears to be some sort of scan code, if anything. It's like QR code stuff. And the other one is just language as on the map. Oh. Uh, this nice. appears to be an access shaft for fast access travel. Right. Uh, Say so where it accesses to the travel? You can use this to access... Um, well, you don't know. It, it probably accesses something quickly, because that's what the science is. Well, one way to find out, I go inside. They, they have... Uh, each has a... It says fast access, and then there's a little symbol. And that symbol... Uh, this also on the map, like the big map of the entire world. Hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. So, which That's symbol it. would we like to go to? Like well. you can go to Middleton, the 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 spheres, your tower, the gates, the gates. Huh. So, which location on the map would be the? One that's likely con contain the wizard. The center, deep underground. Yeah, okay. okay. Is there a appropriate walkway with the symbol? Yes. Wow. Well, let's wow. slam that bad boy. <laughs> it's good. Do you scan the scamper? Over, over. <laughs> um, it is a small tube. Uh, you're going to have to go one by one. I hop in. You hop in. Whoop! You fall down at tremendous speed. And then it stops slowly like a parachute. And you're in a hallway with... It's 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 a large tube. And then there's some benches. And then there's a big thing that's in the tube. If you exit the elevator, it will go straight up. If you wait in the elevator for more than seconds, it will go straight up. As in it will go a back to where it came from. A big thing. Yeah. It's got glass and metal. I'm going to see if people have followed me. Well, you don't yeah. went inside the elevator when it went down, so... They can take the elevator when you leave it and it goes back up. Or wait 10 yeah, seconds. Yeah, okay. I'm leaving yeah. it. I'm the second so one in there. can join me. As you all disregard the rule of the Tomb of Annihilation entrance, you decide <laughs> to go into a hole that made people go away. But lucky for you, you just end up at this weird place. Where tiled walls and a concrete floor make way for <clears throat> metal tubing and a metal thing inside the metal tubing. Well, I'm going to ask Megus to tell it, to analyze it so that what is this even? Uh, yes. That's a subway train. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Although, to be fair, I've not seen these in years. Hmm. Can I? Does it look oddly primitive for this place, or what? It looks very 
very slick for a subway. It's like just a tube. Um, presumably, magic is what allows it to function in such a very unpractical state. There seems to be a robot in the front that's manning a control panel. Right. Well, let's oh. enter the first carriage, I suggest. Maybe it's a pneumatic tube. All of oh. my inner gurgle. As you approach instinct. what you think are the doors, you week. bump into a wall, as it is the window. Um, the actual doors are <laughs> just off to the side. As you walk inside, there's nice benches to sit on. Uh, there's a, a way to go to the front, if you wish, to go see the captain of this fine vessel. I don't understand chairs. I lie down on the floor. I'm going to pop a squat in the chair. <laughs> I'll approach the cabin. There's a robot there. Once we've all embarked... Hello, passenger. Authorization, please. Gave them the authorization, Artemis. Okay. I mean, the control panel's right there. <laughs> yeah. Authorization, Asmodeus. It does not respond. Please repeat. Does it... Can I see, like... Hmm. I, I, I try to interface with the robot. You try to interface Load. with the robot? You just okay. stick a mechadendrate into it. Yeah, basically. Okay, <laughs> okay. You, instead of... Okay, go ahead. Roll me what you think <laughs> is a good one for trying to mind control a robot or look inside its brain. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, hmm. That'd be Arcana Investigation... Inside. Medicine will be weird. Yeah, let's we all watch as he just sticks a little tube up the robot man's nose. They use what do you want to do now that you're inside of it, anyway? Uh, Tell to take us places. Yeah. Take us to the... Take, take us to Asmodeus. Take us to your leader. Required. Sorry? It requires oh, authorization. I uh, rewrite the authorization to be my name. This will take a little bit. Which, while this is happening, the elevator comes back down again. As you all are waiting for Asmodeus to get it on with. <laughs> yeah, okay. Inside the elevator are, or actually is just one, large metal man. Metal man, it's a tin man. And he starts walking towards the carriage. He has things on his shoulders, big meaty metal hands. Meaty metal hands? How does that work? Meaty metal hands. Yeah, how can it be meaty and metal? Because they're beefy! They're big! <laughs> and he puts his hand up and just... on the door. He knocks. I open the door. <laughs> can I get some it athletics, doesn't... please? It doesn't seem to be hostile just yet. Yeah, because it Maybe. grabs onto... Oh, wow. It did it so politely. Well, you managed to overpower its attempt to grapple you. What do you do? You're holding on to it. Uh, uh, I throw it back in the elevator. <laughs> All right. It, it, it stumbles back as it tries to grab on you, but you just go, shove! It stumbles back <laughs> into the elevator. Um, the elevator, however, has just shot up, so it's now caught in the doors that close around it. Aha! In the meantime, Asmodeus manages to get the thing working, as this boy blocks yeah. the door just long enough for you guys to make it out. <clears throat> okay, so Artemis has changed the name. Cool. The train yep. starts moving. Silently. <sighs> A silent train, nice. There are lights flickering by. Mm. You're going fast, Yo. but you don't notice it. The world is moving instead of you. What? Yeah, it's very strange. You don't feel any G-forces from acceleration. Aurora stares at the pretty lights. Very pretty. They're enticing. They seem to shift color over time. Maybe you're going at light speed. Who knows? Mm. You're getting redshift, I... perhaps. Uh, take a seat. Do take a seat. The lights go by. Eventually, you enter into an open space. You see a large system of tunnels of, um, and pipes above you. Um, if you had to guess, maybe the roads? Who knows? You see tubes with people inside of them coming by, more processing, more Pe everything. People. 
Oh, look, it's Modius. It's you. And it vanishes behind a wall. Huh. And then slowly, it starts to slow down. We are approaching. Station Central. All right. Nice. Click. And it hits a buffer. You are at a station. Cool. Let's disembark. You step mm -hmm. out. The. Well, you're now in a small station. It's similar to the one you were before, but there's no elevator. There is a door, though. A big metal door <laughs> that's marked with all kinds of signs saying, don't go here, if you had to guess. There's a few signs you can read and many, many you can't. I want to go there. <laughs> well, same. That seems promising. All right. Who takes the door handle? Me. Uh, I can't really handle. Gupala sticks her hand out and grabs onto the door handle. The door swings open. In front of you is a wide open space. It is massive. A large beam of bright white light comes from one side. A powerful beam of fiery dark comes from the other. They meet against this large metal sphere around which several rings spin and turn. Being here makes you feel queasy, as if gravity itself, time, just warp and bend. There is a pathway going all around this room at exactly the, the, the widest point, so like at the center of, of the whole spherical chamber. Um, there might be a pathway going into the center, as you see a single protrusion going towards the center. Just nearby. Okay, guys. I telepathy yes. to Artemis. After saying this, I believe it would be in our interest to sabotage the two spheres before continuing. I mean, that's not going to... I'm not going to spoil anything, but you can, you can try the walkway yet. Just go in. Hmm. <clears throat> right. Mm. Marching forward. You head towards yeah. the one exciting thing around here, which is the walkway that leads towards the center. There's exciting a, walkway action. There's a small control panel, and it has like buttons for extending the bridge and retracting the bridge, and one for emergency blow the fucking bridge up. <laughs> hmm. That's not a button you like to see on things like this. Yeah. Maybe yeah. best dismantle that button. Good security. You notice that if you were to take this, it would connect to a another small walkway that is located halfway between you and the central sphere's gyro rings. Hmm. Do you want to extend the bridge and see what that panel is about? Why the hell not? Well, someone else pressed the button, I can't. Oh, oh. press the button. Yeah. How can press? A bridge of hard light appears in front of you. Ooh. Fancy. It's warm under your feet. It's like sunlight. Hey, can you snip the wires un under the emergency button so that it won't do anything when pressed? Uh, I suppose so. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> disconnect the button. Look, you have a button, and this one doesn't work. How sad. Cool. Uh, now someone can press it on us while we are heading. Well, let's head out. It's a stress toy. So click, 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 click. Alrighty, moving towards the center. You can feel tremendous energies warping out of this machine. And as you approach the panel, it has a whole bunch of features, ranging from shutting down the rings to extending the central access panel to shutting down several important key systems, but it, that function has unfortunately been removed. Let's There's a little post-it note that, says, that mentions the specific patch at which it was removed. What? <laughs> What's a patch? <laughs> well, the patch, it's, it's sticky. Uh, what, uh, what functionality was removed? Um, some sort of emergency shutdown feature, you don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Like an eject button. Right. 
So, so we are close to the car. There are the spinning rings which we could turn off. Yes. And then you can they will extend a bridge once the rings are turned off. And then we could head into the car if it's closer to this powerful magic and probably at some point just blow up. I start fiddling with the systems. What are you trying to do? Turn off everything. Um, you're not quite sure this thing is uh, built to contact everything. It just seems well, to sound like... It... Let's start with the rings and then we can proceed to... All oh, right. Yeah. If you yeah, shut down the I rings, they so. will slowly grind to a halt. As uh, Artemis starts messing with the wires, he unfortunately discovers that this control panel is just a wireless sender and receiver. It doesn't do anything mm. outside of that. Okay. Well, do there's the core. All the beautiful light and evil light shines towards the center, collected by some sort of large array of prisms. There's a whole bunch of screens down there surrounding a central object of sorts. If I would describe it, I would say galaxy brain. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> well then. Onwards. You add closer. The magical aura is oh, becoming sad. oppressive, asphyxiating, intoxicating. Mm. You can feel as if the room's power becomes your very own. Or is highly uncomfortable by this. It is very unsettling. Even a powerful wizard would be unsettled by it. Even someone without magic would start to feel as if they had sorceress blood. Once you step onto the central disc that composes the central, like, area, you see a large sphere atop a small raised dais directly exactly in the center of everything. The sphere has a seam on it and a large claw on top that probably lifts it off, but you don't see any way of, it, of making the claw do anything. Hmm. Is there like a lever or a button nearby? <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's examine the sphere. What do you do with the sphere? Look at it. It's, Closely. Uh, uh, the seam goes like sawtooth, up, down, up, down, around it. It's a perfect sphere. The light of of goodness comes from above, and the light from darkness. It's probably below, if you had to guess. You saw it before you walked on the walkway, coming from below. And it meets inside this thing. There are lots of small windows and panels hovering around it, showing the world above and a variety of exciting graphs. If you like statistics, this is the place to be. There's so many graphs. <laughs> oh, graphs. Interesting. Like, they flicker on and off at high speeds. I'm excited already. Hmm. Step. Step. Are there any controls here? Nope. Okay. So none well, on this entire run. You have walkway. three very strong people with you. Oh. I lay a How hand large? on the spear. Yeah, how large is the central orb? The central orb is around 20 feet in diameter. Ooh. Ah, so, like, if Gopla went and went big and then punched it out of place... <laughs> I mean, you could, you could grab the seam instead of trying to punch it. It's, it's metal, it dents, yes. it doesn't break. Yeah, right. but could it be displaced? Um, you can try. You're welcome to try. I'm cat. <laughs> Who wants to try to move I the wait. orb? <clears throat> okay, maybe we could try to lever the orb open since there is a seam. Or you can move it. Just saying, it's a great idea. Move it. I'm going to pick up the orb. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the orb isn't isn't like bolted or anything in place. It's a perfect orb resting in the so on on top of the platform. So yes, you could move yeah. it. Yeah. Or you could try to pull the seam off open. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I Google and uh, um, cross then and I guess Aurora. Maybe combine your strengths and try to lift up the separate the halves of the sphere, the heavy spheres. Okie dokie. Okay, how do you do hmm. this? What, what is the exact angle you're taking to open it? 
Do you budge the sphere from its resting place? Do you, like, if someone sits on top to weigh it down or something, or...? Uh, I mean... I can try and shove my sword into the seam itself and then, like, lever it open like cracking a walnut. Like, you have to understand, this thing is not bolted down, so there's no leverage to opening it. Oh. Okay, well, you, I guess you could then just kind of ram into it. Cool! I mean, wouldn't it just roll out of place easily? <laughs> so y'all are so going, going for the big ramming rush? <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't have very much mass to put behind it, so I'm up. Give me the strength checks, athletics, please. From all the boys who participate in this magnificent... Athletics. Game. I'm directing this. I'm gonna wage before so I can... Uh... Have advantage on it. Artemis writes on the ground like a variety of like instructions on how to exactly tackle this problem. <laughs> he like, writes lines like start here, take your foot here. Most people Strange just ignore him. Ah, uh, safe. Whoops. Uh. If you're proficient with athletics, it doesn't matter. I'm oh. proficient with athletics, so it doesn't matter. There's a loud boom <laughs> as you all crash into the orb together. It shifts. It moves. Then there's a as it hits the first step. Second, it rolls out of place like a marble. Hmm. Now, it is at this moment that you realize something that you probably should have thought about before you did anything. Like the normal fools beams you were, you took out the one thing in between those two beams of opposing energy. Yeah, yeah that was the plan. I want to have a big explosion now. All right. Well, <laughs> you can't blame that I dropped rocks on people. When they set off the nuclear uh, reactor themselves. I oh, cast... Nice! We destroyed the power plant! I cast force field. <laughs> Around everyone here, huh? Yep. Around everyone here. Can I get in a the... check, please? In... In this is dome. such strong magic, your spell might flunk. You make it! You're a true hero. <laughs> you, you, you jump in, you catch that... everyone in a ball. Yeah. Dome of protection. Dome of protection of you see as a beam of light and a beam of hellish power meet. It it grows into this growing sphere. Bigger. And bigger. And bigger. And the ground starts to shake. The control panels go nuts. The orb cracks open from energy swirling all around it. Uh, is your sphere immobile or can it be pushed around? Uh, I think it should be immobile. It's an it's an immovable rod kind of stuff. It let's see. Uh, the one thing is, it can be a free floating or resting on solid surface. Well, it can be free floating. So. Yeah. So you 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 see for a brief moment the orb crack open. Uh, can I get a perception check from everyone, please? A perception. Okay, then. <sighs> I should have prepared for this. This was so fun. Um, can, can I, I get use... two more? There's one more person who needs to roll. And that's... Can I use my passive is the... No, this is this is active because you're getting strung around so much. Griflion, can I get your okay. perception? Okay. Yeah, here you go. It's also oh, it's pen. Aurora is the only one who sees this, as everyone else is bonked around the ball, and they float mm. away. Um, what you see inside that orb is a skeleton, but he doesn't <laughs> look very alive. Not hmm. anymore. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, <laughs> you hope hey, you see... Your orb sh first goes up to the wall, then it goes up, down. You're rolling around. You're getting swung around like crazy. Um, I need some Constitution saving throws to not throw up. Um, please, can please I, make it. Can I throw up if I don't have a stomach? No, you're you're slime. You just you just discombobulate to some extent. Oh no, it's just a whole bunch of goo bouncing around, just kind of splattering around in the orb. Uh, uh, Catmina doesn't have to roll either, and I don't think yeah. I, I think like only two people in this group can legitimately throw up. <laughs> uh, constitution. The cat just throws up a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora is the only one who gets significantly sick. <laughs> and then the orb goes up to the ceiling, and up and up, and you're almost where that light beam is coming from. But right as it happens, there's nothing. 
Sound itself ceases to be for a brief moment as you crash through the ground. Flying high up into the sky. Hey, you can see the whole land from here. You see the tower yes. to the north, in which presumably oh, the, 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 the sphere is. You see the forest to the south. You see all the people panicking for once. Like half the people <laughs> are panicking, half the people are not. Okay, does this world look like a just a flat pane, or is it a something bigger? It's, it's cube. Just as you bonk into the firmament, uh, it's flat as a doornail. Hmm. You're right all along. The world is flat. <laughs> this one is. Okay, you so can, you can even see the bridge and the 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 dimensional gate off to the west. Hmm. Dimensional gate. You so... also see a swarm of monsters rushing out of the no. forest as you fall your way back down again. Brace for impact, please. Uh, uh, yeah. Can I retroactively uh... curl into a ball? Mm. No, I mean, uh, I wonder if my nomadic steps power make us preserve momentum. Uh, listen, you can use it in twice in rapid succession. Once to go up, and then once you're at the top, warp back down when you lost your momentum. <laughs> Teleportation powers, how do they work? I mean, I, I, nothing says here that I can... That's why I would prefer to just have cast it at the apex of our journey. All right, right as you hit the, the, the literal firmament, which is a very high fidelity screen. If only you could take a piece from it. Yeah. Uh, you, you, so... Where do you warp? I can only warp a mile down, so I hope this is enough. Holy. That's not enough. Oh. <sighs> wow, then. Like, it took five days to get across. This is a, a sphere. This place is pretty big. You also and watch, like, the third tower and the road around it get torn to shreds by the explosion. And yet we... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I've... I don't think there's something I can do to the... you know, about this. And listen, listen, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna whisper you a tiny little secret. You don't have to teleport in cardinal directions. Well, actually, you, you could just teleport yourself horizontal. They just move in a direction very quickly. Yeah. And then you'd have to vomit again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if we teleport sideways, this doesn't really help with the fact that we'll be falling. If you teleport sideways, you're not falling. You're rolling. I guess... I mean, if it's, if it's going to shift our momentum, yeah. well, I guess we can skid. <laughs> that constitution save from Belmore, by the way, I would count that against him losing concentration, considering that he's bouncing in a ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the funkiest situations to be holding your concentration. Okay, you know what? I'm a cat. I land, I land on my feet, probably, but I'm just oh, worried about you all. Yeah, you'll probably be just fine. Eh, I can levitate. <laughs> if it's just like, ah, I'm, I, don't, I already have an umbrella, I'm fine. <laughs> Mac left transcendence. <laughs> the ball starts flying towards the ground again. <laughs> okay, well. <sighs> start to catch fire in the atmosphere. Well, actually, I don't think there's anything to catch fire since it's a magical sphere, so... Yeah. Good. It's gonna get hot in here. Ah, yeah, there will be some friction, but it's not like a major issue. Oh, um, because I have resistance against it. Sure. <laughs> You're gonna hit the ground in just a few seconds. Enjoy it while it lasts. <sighs> Oh, wait, no. On your way down, the explosion, which is like still rupturing, like eventually the thing is just a large white sphere that occupies a massive area. You're going to bump into that. So it's going to break us? No, you're just I... going to bonk off into a different direction. Oh, that won't be nearly as gradual. Yeah. Um, this is the falling damage you take as the orb just suddenly shifts deg degrees in, in change. Okay. Uh... The cat dies. The, ca what? the cat's dead, but the ghost is still here. 
I'm still uh, raging from before where we. Uh, falling damage is not affected all. by this. Okay. I think falling damage is its own unique baby type because they were babies. Ah, I thought it would be bludgeoning, but okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's 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 a special damage type. Special damage type gotten. Let's take a look. See, uh, if you fall, uh, yeah, you take bludgeoning damage. So as a rage, you would indeed have resistance. That was a special ah. damage type. So am I still raging or not? Because uh, that IP would only last one minute, and also only if. I don't think it's been much longer than one minute. I mean, there's plenty to be angry about when you vomit and <laughs> spun around at rapid yeah. speeds. But also, uh, I think you can only rage while you're still attacking stuff. So I don't know if six seconds already went over or not. It doesn't really matter. The orb. Okay. Poops against the explosion, which is as solid as a rock, and then it Ooh. hits the ground proper. Um, you notice that this time when you crash into the red brick road, it doesn't regenerate or anything. It's it's just falling apart as you hit it. And there is a nice we just... of monsters around you, and they're all running. Nice, we destroyed the plane. <laughs> that's, that was the point, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the plan. I don't want to work at all. Okay, yeah, so, so because... let's just destroy everything. Hmm. Okay, how how are you doing, Majos? Uh, so do we take the 15 and then the 19 as damage? Yes, they are two bouts of falling damage. Yep. If the cat was already dead, do I just <laughs> take the second damage? The cat just explodes <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I have like seven left. Cat is you get them back after a long rest. <laughs> you watch as the sun and the moon and the sky sh shift colors and slowly but surely change. You're now on the ground, by the way. You're rolling towards the west, but that's about it. You are losing speed eventually, because this is a cobblestone. It's, it's, it's a brick road, but it's not like a smooth ride. Okay. There are some constructs around, by the way, but they're all, they all seem to be inert, uncontrolled. It's only the, the monsters and such that move around still. They're like merchants standing in the middle of the road, and being like, Ooh. Okay, so are we... Uh, has the explosion stopped exploding? Um, it stopped, but it still looks like an explosion. Well, that's a persistent explosion. Okay. Uh, it might have broken time or something. <laughs> hmm. Oh, good. Fascinating. You might have known what is going on if you would ask the right questions to the right people. But that's like very specific use cases that I can't blame you for. Hmm. Uh, asking questions. Uh, has oh. the uh, field dispelled yet? The uh, force field dispels when good old fashioned Major says that it does. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so have we yet crashed in a way that made us stop? You have. You eventually stop rolling, yes. You're a good mm, distance right. to the second tower. Okay. So, to the west. We, well, so, so I portal there. That should probably was a portal, be our next, yes. next destination. I should well. have had your way over to the to the second tower, or at least from the distance you can see. There's like some people trying to help the merchants. They seem to be too dumb to realize that these merchants aren't like people. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm going to be. Uh, uh, I'll heal myself with my. I. <sighs> You're all pretty injured and beaten up, but you know, <laughs> there's dragons running beside you, gorgons, medusas. Uh, I have to so, produce a thing like this from my hand. Oh, Jesus. And jam it into my guts. Double, oh, Jesus. You it helps. It. And somehow it <laughs> helps, I guess. Yep. Indeed it does. I like pressing buttons. Yeah. Mm. There's lots of kind of organic sounds and uh, grinding noises. Uh, anyone else feeling injured? 
Uh, Aurora like, looks horrified by that contraption. <laughs> it refuses to get close to you. Yeah, we all kind of um, take a step back. It's like, I'm not ah. sure if that would help us. <laughs> it works for you, okay, I guess. I produce a really long, a really thick needle. Eh? Eh? Who wants Anyone? a sip? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm fun. Hmm. Yeah, well, suit yourselves. You watch as an inordinately large chunk of the sky falls onto the second tower. <clears throat> so, uh, I remember you mentioning a uh, gate of some kind near the edge? Yes, on the west side you saw some sort of a large gateway attached to the gate. red brick road. Aurora books it for the gate. She wants to get out of here. It's like two towers away. It's like a couple of days travel if you don't rush it. <laughs> yeah, well, oh. that's Stop. where we are going. You Stop run... skipping down the road. You run past the, the many stalled merchant carts. Oh, let's take a cart. That's you hop onto faster. a cart with a horse. Yep. You watch as more large creatures storm by. Mythological, fantastical. Um, eventually... You see the group of, of people from like the fourth tower rushing by, minus the kobold, and they like they, they put up their hand. They're like, mm, "You guys are gonna die!" <laughs> says it says the red guy in particular. The, then the yellow white guy just kind of shoves him off the cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I wave hello. Hi guys, it's, it's us right. again. I flail angrily. Have you already died and didn't stick? So what are you going to do? Are you guys just going to take the cart with the horse? Uh, I mean, that's yeah. going to make us go faster, no? There's plenty of faster animals yeah. around if you just try to get lucky. <laughs> well, this, this has a vehicle. We kind of pull up right in. Oh, oh yeah. Is there stuff in the cart? Yeah, it's filled to the brim with stuff. Mm. Well, we'll need to lighten the load so that the Gupala can fit. <laughs> what what sort of stuff are these merchants carrying? I don't know. Just lots of stuff. They are carrying magic items of all sorts and descriptions. <sighs> Is the translation magic broken by the explosion? It's, it's still somewhat working, but every other word is a bit slurry. Mm -hmm, yeah. A planetar shooms by at 120 foot per round speed. There's a phoenix in the distance moving about as fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, well, man, let's get the whole giant processing plant. Let's just get onto the horse and let's just roll towards the gate. You decide I mean, to take onto the... the old workhorse. I mean, what choice do we have? Like, are we going to hitch up a planter to a cart? <laughs> I mean, I... just saying, you have options. You have lots of options. I mean, besides <laughs> earned planters, like, one of the most powerful things out there, and you yeah. have to scream lawful... You can't trust a lawful good person to help you out when you're in need. Yeah, yeah no. definitely not us. It's like the last person you should ask is an angel to help you. Just ask a devil mm. or a demon. They'll, you can trust those guys. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, they at least. I think that really yes, demon. Uh... <laughs> I mean, fine. It's already gone. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Too fast. You, you should. You, you shouldn't spend your time arguing the logistics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> next time we see Deva fly by, I'm going to telepathy to her. Flag down an angel. <laughs> As you, your cart makes their way over, uh, Griflion, deftly maneuvering it, you come across the, the second tower where there's, um, I guess the best way to call them is like uh, Baby's First Adventuring Party. There's, <laughs> there's, three, there's like three humans, one tiefling, and of course the elf wizard. <laughs> oh, good. They're, they're, they're all like, you, you, you have to go, and they're like shaking the, the, the brain-dead merchants. Just get out there. Merchants aren't probably people anyway. What the hell are you? You don't belong here. 
I and, wave hello. And, and I, and I, and I, you... Tom the. I will show you. Uh, right. You guys don't belong here either. Get out of the plane before it's gone. A plane? What's a plane? Like a like? <laughs> they, they start muttering amongst each other about airplanes. <laughs> get out of the world before it ends. You can't just get out of the. world. That's not how you get you. What, what is wrong with you people? You were just. Rude. But it's wrong with and you. And you see that you consistently see just the 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 tiefling in the corner, like throwing his bang around, going like, oh. <laughs> of course, my. Of course, they do another one of those world-ending events. That's all that ever happens. Life is meaningless because everyone always dies. <laughs> Why are tieflings always like that? Because he's a tiefling rogue. There's nothing else he can do. <laughs> no. Well, it could be worse. At least isn't it, bro? As you all decide to argue, uh, a large, energetic, and very brightly glowing dragon lands next to you. Mm, it's right. a Let's ride hey, on. Hey, dragon, then. can you get? Can you help us travel? The dragon oh, yeah. leans in and hop. Takes the cat by the neck. <laughs> if you climb on the dragon's back, there's a surprise waiting for you. You also notice, by the way, that all the humans like take their weapons out and they try to hit the dragon. <laughs> I mean, okay, like if it's going to let me hop onto its snout, then I'm going to follow onto like onto the, the top of its out. head and look down its neck. It breathes out a Good wave of raw force, and they all fall over on their asses, and the world starts <laughs> complaining about being cheated. So what is <laughs> It's good enough for the kitty, it's good enough for the goo. On the back Jump of the, the dragon is a kobold. Okay. Hey. Oh, kobold! She waves at you! Hey! Is is are you doing from the first place? Yeah. <laughs> She's I'm excited to see you guys! That's what, uh, so that's what the dragon seemed for me, yeah? Yes. Long time no see. She Hi. pet pats your dragon. And the thing starts grumbling and grumbling about how you guys just have no tact. We blow up the planet. Didn't even ask nicely to get on. And the rogue should have like the spotlight is for me. As you as the dragon heads off, and he is a fast boy, because he's a big dragon. Yeah. yeah. You can look down and see people running. It's it's kinda sad how many people are probably going to die by the end of this. And it's all the evil monsters yeah. that with the wings who get to go away. Fine, I'm called Ignite I'm fine with that. Well at least we saved a few lives destroying the world. Yeah, at least you saved all the, the vampires and the dragons and the evil gorgons. You saved mm. all the cool ones. There might, might, there might have been Tiamat you saw flying over there. Good job you saved her, at least. Nice! Why do you exist in this world? If Tiamat survives, all things are good. Five-headed dragon? That's a lot of beep. You can get... <laughs> That's like five dragon for the price of one. They're all beautifully colored. You approach the gate. Um, there is a large, very fanciful bridge. Aw, Rory gives the kobold a hug and Cole's like, yeah! But she doesn't speak, she's mute, but she goes like, yeah! Hey. The gate is, oh, is filled to the brim with people trying to mush their way in. The flying creatures have it easy because they don't have to compete with the storm of people. Uh, it's not that big a gate, by the way. Like, you could fit uh, a gargantuan, like, max-sized creature in it, but that's about it. It's also circular, so the bottom base is very small. <laughs> The, the, the dragon lands nearby and takes his breath and kind of snorts. <laughs> hey, dragon, can you start throwing people through the middle of the gate? He reaches up and kind of pushes, puts the cat like lower down on his shoulders before he grabs a person, just yeets him. <laughs> yeet, yeet. Well, at least they are getting out. <laughs> <laughs> and then, eventually, as you all decide to wait for the dragon to eat a couple of people, the group of the gate is is coming right by. And you see, uh, everyone is every, every single one of them is like, "Wow, that just happened, didn't it?" Yeah, it did. <laughs> Except for the one who who's all mysterious and hooded. She, she just gives you a thumbs up. Yay. Yeah. I gave it one yeah. back. Destruction, great chaos. <laughs> that like the 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 lizard person and the the snake person just kind of mentally throw everyone inside, and then they jump after. 
Well, this place looks like it's about to collapse. Too bad yep. about all the nice shinies. The dragon reaches into one of the carts and takes out like a large bag of gold. It's like a, there's a magic <laughs> axe sticking out and a great sword and some and like a gauntlet of a plate mail. It's like, I guess I'll have to settle on this. <laughs> you sure you guys don't want to like pick anything clean before we go? You look back because there is a time limit. You start to notice the explosion is slowly growing. <laughs> I'm going to grab some stuff. Well, Aurora with the uh, cobalt in her arms books it for the gate. I'll I'll grab a handful of stuff on the wagon. Mm. Is there anything specific stuff you're going to look for? You're going to go for the rings, the big weapons, the tools? You know what? How about I roll for something tools. exciting for you to find? How about you roll me a d20? I, I'd um... like to focus on the tools. Okay. Give me a roll d20, man. Oh, one d20. D20. Oh my. Um... <sighs> You find a tool, and I don't know how to describe this. This is, this is a set of glasses. It attaches to the temples and goes around the eyes. Um, like one of those fancy future goggles. Um, you're not quite sure what it does, but judging by the electric shocks coming through the temples, you might be able to bring someone back from the dead with this. In a sense. Sweet. Sweet. Gupala decides to go for a grab bag. She picks up one hecking <laughs> awesome looking glove. Yeah. It's a metal power glove. Power glove. It is. In fact, I'm going to show Hell you. Yeah. I'm going to show you the 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 item sheet for this. Cause why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's a glove. You can punch me. <laughs> the dragon, Jesus by Christ. the way, disappears as the kobold goes through the gate. Can I look for a weapon? You want a weapon? Good. Find, yeah. go find me a weapon. You can roll a 10. Ooh, I think. Ooh. You find a bag, a quiver, actually, a magical quiver. There's one javelin in, but you take it out, and like another javelin pops in, and you push the javelin in, and it goes back in again. Um, these, by the way, are not normal javelins. They are very fancy ones. Um, this is not Ooh. the time to test throw them, but you're pretty sure that if you hit someone with it, they're going to regret it. Yeah. Nice. You got lucky. So. Because this was. The, 10 was surrounded by two very lame items. <laughs> so I see that I have a bag of holding listed in my uh, You're just going to shove it full. <laughs> okay, you're I'm a gonna... cat. Who's going to help the cat just shove a whole cart worth of loot into that thing? I don't know that she has before he needs to tell me. <laughs> yeah, we're helping. I mean, yeah. how do how do I even hold the bag of holding in the first place? It's a magical item. You can hold on to magical items just fine. Not Just not mundane things. Okay, then I'm just going to try to scoop something into the bag of holding. Like, if it's magical, I'm going to manage to scoop it in. Yeah, Yo, you scoop in yeah. sufficient magic items to make a campaign blush. Oh. <laughs> really? You think? You cool? Are you just doing this instead of making me roll? You can roll if you, you want, cool? and I can tell you a specific exciting item you find. So, <laughs> if you, I mean, if you, that's what people are having fun with, come on. If you, <laughs> And we meant to be... Oh no, nine. That was... It's around <laughs> ten, so it's Can Belmore speak, please? Uh, if you're just scooping your stuff into the bag, you could just, you know, hold the bag at one end of the wagon and it's just tip the wagon that's off. A, that's what I imagine that you do. The Google helps <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah? that's uh, yeah. Okay, then let's let's just do that and then head through the gate before the we'll, place. We'll place figure on. it out afterwards. Well, here's a, an exciting item you find that I found kind of funny. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hmm. Nice! Nice. Oh. It's really good Five, if you want uh, to not get killed by a fireball. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I have a aversion to blasts, and fireballs are common blasts. So yeah, that's great. I love it. You know, okay, like now let's a few people. Now let's go through the gate. Do yeah. You People on the bridge are like screaming for their lives, knowing that they're not fast enough to make it before the explosion starts to swallow them all. Okay, up. can I uh, let me? Uh... Just gonna dash into them and shove them outside. You see a kobold Look. riding a shockwave of the explosion growing, and he goes <laughs> into the gate. Okay, so let me let me. Uh... <sighs> can I attach my nomad's gate cube? I mean. I take it that they are two ways. Yes, I, they are two way. Okay. Uh, what they want to do is put one of the cubes at like near the top of the gate, 
so that if people come out of the cube, they just go into the gate immediately. And the first cube I'm going to put near the bridge once they first teleport there with another scenic power. All right. You give people who are a mile behind a mile head start. Yep. Awesome. The so that's who are in 13 these cubes points. Are just kind of sad because they don't benefit from it. Hmm? But the people who are halfway between the cubes technically have no benefit for going for either, so they're sad. Oh well. Like, there's only so much I can do, okay? The explosion nears and nears, and it starts to become this deafening. It's not a sound, but your head is filling with noise. Okay. So once I've placed the cube, I might as well just go hop through it. Has anyone so... not yet yeeted themselves through the portal? Nope, I've, I've already dove through. Yep, yeah. walked walk through yeah. the portal. I'm, I'm take it we've done this after we've scooped out the cart into the bag. Hmm. You fall through an endless space of many colors and sizes. You see around you a lot of things. You see every single creature you saw jump through the portal with you. For a minute, you appear as if you were back in your home plane, but then you zip, that you're in another one, and another one. And after a brief few moments, you actually pop into a very white space. And there is a ange an angelic-looking lady. Although, no, no, she's, she's just mechanical. Who dressed like an angel to not upset people. Um, does anyone angel. here know anything about the planes? A little bit. Because if you know anything no. about planar travel, specifically the lawful planes. Uh, I, I mean, only out of character, I would imagine, unless I'm supposed to know it in character. I think Belmore might know something. Well, I know about world travel. <laughs> not exactly well, sure about this sort of thing. Well, in that case, you're probably not too, too aware of where you are. But you do feel like you're very close to the Omni Sia at this moment. You're in a place that he would because... probably approve of. There's a oh, is line. this? Um, I look around if there's like huge gears. No, it's just a pale white waiting room, and there's like a lady, and she's taking notes of everyone who's like coming by, and there's lot, there's like booths opening every few seconds. Hmm. And the over the speakers, you hear, please, please report to the nearest available booth for redistribution. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a small I'm box going to... of flyers nearby. Huh. Well, that sounds like plane travel indeed. <laughs> I'm going to insist we stick a sick group. I'll pick up a flyer. The flyer is written in another language, but then it quickly shifts to yours. And as you look at it, it reads, So you've been sent across the plains without a clear destination, and how we're going to fix it. <laughs> and it mentions the exact steps on how they're going to send you back to where you're supposed to be, and how you're going to get a heavy scolding from whatever god you do or do not believe in about why you shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> that part has been scratched out because it doesn't really apply to you people as having done it intentionally. Mm. <laughs> that was cute. Nice. The Omni Saya fixes all. Line truth. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Well, All right. at this point, yeah, then. it's up to you guys where your life ends up, because at some point you're going to have to come up to the booth, whatever you like it or not, and you're going to have to report who you are and where you're from, and they're going to send you back. Mm. Which, by the way, happens with a trapdoor under their feet. Like, they push a button and they fall through the <laughs> trapdoor. <and> they <laughs> <laughs> the dragons in particular don't like this. Efficient. It works. That's all that Fish matters. Efficient, but good. <laughs> Like, for Aurora, there's, like, a special interpreter, too. It's like a booth at the end for, like, the animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, well... This is goodbye. You have destroyed a world, and in the process, probably saved some people, killed some people. Let's just say that karmically, it ends up being neutral. Karmically neutral, we'll stick to that. It's like, uh... I mean, right. at least... Nothing with the finger, half of the people are safe. All the half is dead. Like that. Oh. All the murder balances out in the end. <laughs> yeah. I, am I am hoping that no evil, very po powerful wizard is going to trap people in some plane again. This, this so, is um, the fun part is I'm guessing. 
I'm guessing uh, this is then goodbye because uh, we are all, I think, from other planes. Technically, so gonna... most of you are from different planes, yes. So I'm gonna say goodbye to all my friends here. Aww. I'm gonna meet all the friends. Uh, big cuddles, Sean, big goopy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. Thanks, Jack. No. <laughs> the dragon would come in for a hug too, but he's looking at, at, at like an archdevil and an angel sitting back drinking some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so which one of your planes has cats? I'm okay in the war and there's cats. Well, I feel like cats are a universal constant. <laughs> Regardless of what plane or universe you're in, there's always cats. Yeah. Maybe I could just go with Kupala's world. I don't mind going to mine. I mean, I don't insist going to mine or claiming any one of them is mine. I am the cat lord. Do you even know if you can do that? Like, you've, you've, you don't know what the procedure is. If they're going to check your background or, or, or accuse you of a lie. Check your DNA. That's going to kind of stealthily hide mm. me in my, <laughs> in my armor. <laughs> you fall in the trap door with her. It's like, we did it! Sneaky. No one needs to know there's a kitty. <sighs> Majus, Majus, you're, you're a little... Uh... A little, 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 little uh, what's it called again? Servitor. Beep boops. You've received a message. Beep boops. Well, you got <laughs> mail. <laughs> it's uh, the Omnisaya, or it, it looks like it. it. It's a big, swirling mess of words and text. Oh. It's, it sounds like religious scripture. It, it specifies instructions on something you have to do in order to show that you've received this message. Press one. You, you were kind of cutting out there. Um, essentially, it is a series of instructions. Ah, um, it seems I... to have some religious significance, because it, it's got that omni feel of logic in it. Uh, I will follow them to the letter. It's like something like hit the, the third wheel from the right twice, but only if the PSI is lower than five, that kind of stuff. Mm. I also am chanting while I'm doing it. It sounds like, okay, like a modem. <laughs> Some people complain, but for the most part, they're all just relieved that they made it out alive. You see a man who appears half, probably half consumed by the explosion, half teleported through, but he's fine. He doesn't like bleed or anything. He just gets propped up on a chair, and he's given like wow. a, he's given like a cup of coffee, and, and one of the the angelic robots like walks off to get him some legs or something. Well, <clears throat> at each at each complaint, the sound gets louder. <laughs> The Omnisaya will not be silenced. Indeed. Well, with yeah. that, your quest is complete. Not quite in the method I expected you guys to, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Did it. There are We're numerous, heroes! There are numerous other ways, much more refined and nuanced, that I expected you guys would handle. But that's fine! Because I'm in nice. the end, we all had fun. Yeah. Hacking oneself to a factory is kind of not that unsophisticated, I suppose. I mean, you blew the whole place up. That, that's, that's yeah, weird. that's I, you know, you know, no, I had, it's like, not warm. I had meetings it's the planned. Only way the, to be sure. I had a meetings planned with the angel and the devil and Asmodeus himself, and each of the groups oh. had something to say. But you guys were just like, you know what? Let's just go find the new button and get out of here. No, I, we wanted to find the wizard. You found him. Yeah, ha. He was, was in a circle. You had to move a rock. He's like a fucking goddamn. <laughs> It was Breath of the Wild all along. <laughs> well, on I, the plus side, those like... beginner losers didn't make it. Yeah, but <laughs> unfortunate, but uh, shot his life. I GM suppose. rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's yes, just like exactly for the that. final time, stop stabbing the merchant. <laughs> The rogue is like, my bleeding heart will never stop. <laughs> well, as a, as a tech mate, I, tech priest, I, I am kind of, you know, task-oriented, so... And task-oriented you were. You know what I think we're going to do next time? Just in, order to, in order just to take a little bit of the, the, the... To give you guys a little bit more to go with. How about we do Curse of Strahd? Because I have that module and it's a fun one. I always wanted to play that one, so I'm fine with that. Then we'll throw that yeah, one together. Okay. I'll set up a thing. You can, uh, guys can all jump in and make a character. Um, I'm still going to think... What level should we do for that? Because it has a pretty big range you can pick from. 
and I want you guys to kind of be on board with this. I'm okay with any. Like we can go in at a sleep five. I would be fine with tier two or three. I don't really care about the. No, I'm talking like level. But yeah, oh, well, well, yeah. I'll, 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 yeah, I mean, uh, level five to I don't know, but the, the level range on Curse of Strahd is one to ten, which is a blatant lie. <laughs> yeah, but I know, but I don't want to start with one because one is hella. Yeah, yeah the, the level it one can go it, it so quick, it, can it go wrong because I want only have... one babies. <laughs> yeah, because uh, freaking level special. one, freaking wizard only has. Uh, Five life or something that uh, a wizard in five E starting at level one most likely has between six and eight HP. Yes, I think and uh, has four life plus his con modifier so five or something like that. If he's lucky. You start with max HP at level one and you have a D six. Yeah. You're talking about the I, I, I thought no, ah yeah. I yeah. forgot wizard has a D five. Uh, D6. six on the D five. Yeah, it's, D4. it's they, they they got rid of D fours in five E. Yeah. You know what, Except we're going to start off at level 5, and make your, make, your, make your brand spank and special boys. New boys. So, like, level 5 or something sounds good. Level 5. 5, I'll, 6, 7 is I'll, fine. I'll play it a bit more straight. I... I'll give you guys a bit more direction, because I think a big problem that I made during this campaign is I just didn't give you guys the, the direction needed to, 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 to get to it. I rely too much on the mystery being appealing, but that's a bad decision to make, and I learned a lesson at the very least. I mean... <laughs> The mystery would be more appealing if we were allowed to argue and go slow instead of having this adventure in spirit. I didn't put that, never came up. Yeah, oh, but yeah. it could, would have if we did do it the way we did. <laughs> Adventuring spirit only takes place when you spend a large amount of time arguing over some like like arguing over an approach to a problem over solving the problem. It's when you start debating the nuances of like how many d6s you want to risk. I mean, uh, it was kind of uh, this was a thing where we kind of forced into a tower and basically we, could, uh, we didn't really know what to do. It was not. It was kind of too mysterious, I think. So the best thing yeah, we could do is just Next go time. around and. It, it, it would have helped to set up like a little signpost that at least tells you like this is where yeah. you are now and what is expected of you so you know where the walls are to break down. Like I uh, said, learning lesson. But yeah, I can I'm fine with just, just going to everything like nobody cares. I'm fine too. The best way to make a mystery appealing is to tell the players they're not supposed to do anything with it. <laughs> and to make sure that they know what yeah. the mystery is. Yeah, exactly. So I would be fine with level four or five for next time. I'll I'm not throw it up as far as levels go. And y'all can have a, a bliggity blast. I'll send the link in a bit. Um, I'm going to cut the streamer, so...